Welcome everybody. The music is not working. There it is. There it is. Welcome everybody to Towers and Guts episode 69. We are here live on time because we're always on time and we always will be. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much to everybody who super chatted. We're going to shout you out here in a second. But we're happy to have you here. Towers and Gods is essentially Tower of God plus D and D. So if this is your first time here, stick around, see if you enjoy the format, see if you enjoy the episode. Um, that said, let's give a shout out to our amazing cast members. We have Isaiah as John. Yo, yo, what's going on? We have Milios as Brack. <clears throat> this one time at band camp. That's all. Am I missing something? <laughs> Am I missing? I, I, I got you, bro. I, I got <laughs> okay, you. okay. I'm glad Son understands. I don't know why you guys haven't seen the movie. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, we have Sun Woo as Lopo Bia Woo. Yo, here. What's going on? We have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. This this is like the most cliche opener we've ever done, with everyone just saying what they... <laughs> except for Millie. Millie's throws a bit of a curveball. But other Joe, as Damien Frog, what do you got? This lamb is so undercooked, it's following Mary to school! <laughs> no! Oh, hey, oh, is, are we doing the intro? Hey, what's mm -hmm, going on? We are, we are, we are. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, sorry, that was just uh, okay. Chef. Chef Ramsay in the background. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's just, you know, complaining about the lamb. Dude, mm -hmm. these are all really good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to explain what you're looking at? <laughs> I'm, I, I, so for the intro, I was like, mm, you know, Gordon Ramsay was brought up in our pregame discussion. So I, I was like, <laughs> I'll just see something Gordon Ramsay says. And all of these are so funny. <laughs> These are all the like, really greatest ones. things. Like you put so much ginger uh. in this, it's a Weasley. <laughs> <laughs> does he like, do you think he pre-preps those or does it, is it on the spot? I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know, but there's a lot though. Yeah. So it's like this fish is still raw, he's still finding Nemo. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, they're all kind of pop culture I don't. I don't yeah. expect gordon to like go see finding nemo for example you know what i mean he's a person so you know. know he's a human being <laughs> he's not like an alien it's not that he wouldn't go see a movie it's the movie in question i see uh, he's got oh you think you think he's above finding nemo bro? <laughs> yeah he's <laughs> above it <laughs> He's above it all. No, but we're here. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, leave a like if you want to support the series that we have here. And uh, let's go ahead and read some super chats. Hannah, if you would do the honors. I will. All right. So from very much earlier, Dart Angel with $5 says, there will be two rounds of membership roulette today. Number one, when this is announced, bum, 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 bum. And two, at the memes. Have fun. And I suspect this episode will hurt my heart. Mm. Oh, boy. What makes you say that? I actually think I today's know. episode will be a very fun one with no heart. Ooh. So. So then we have Black Reaper with ten dollars, just asking other Joe slash Better Joe. Okay. That I'm thinking about starting a new business where I'm selling frog flavored <laughs> cotton candy and frog strawberry water. Should I get this started? <laughs> I'll be real with you, as other Joe. I don't think this is a market. <laughs> it's saying a lot coming from you. Ooh. I don't. I, I don't. You'd, you'd have to go really heavy on the marketing of frog flavored <laughs> cotton candy. Yeah. But I don't. Do I? Do I think that you shouldn't though? No. Mm. I don't mm. think that you shouldn't. Okay. Interesting. Just make frog flavored cotton candy not made of frogs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope not. God. Uh, uh, uh. My advice. I hope not. All right. Cool. Oh, so okay. then. And, and, so... and Damien says, "Hell yeah, brother! Sign <laughs> <laughs> me up." What about Yugi, Damien? Give him, give him the checkbook, Brack. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. They will not chase Hypnotope. <laughs> <laughs> so then, Dart Angel got the mem gift memberships started early. Dropped another ten. Okay. And then uh, we have Camus Zeke Cyrus with a member for one month. Thank you for joining the family. Then Dart Angel sent some more early gifts okay uh another 20. thank you and then we got master gold okay. with 9.99 here's the go. sonic fact of the week today is sonic's 32 birthday so please wish him a happy birthday today oh shoot happy birthday sonic 
You look and then I don't know. Oh, hold on. He looks young. I don't know. Oh, I, I don't on. know. He looks, he looks like <laughs> he doesn't look a day over eight over that. that no, Ash keep... was ten years old for twenty-seven <laughs> years. <laughs> then exactly. we have Matt. So my chat refreshed. So if I miss anybody in between, uh, I can check too. Just go ahead. It's all, good. all right, Matt the third with ten dollars. I'm back, baby. Since Let's my go. absence last week was surely missed, I'll bring double the trivia this week to make up for it. Oh God. <clears throat> Joe, That's okay, Matt. Where was Yo Yoda's home in his final years? Uh, it's like a swamp. <laughs> it's uh -huh. swamp land. Uh, uh huh. Swamp. Swampania. <laughs> mm -mm. No? No. I really thought I had it. What what is it? Dagobah. Oh. Dagobah? The Mines of Moria. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Joe. Almost back to 100, Alex. <laughs> Mount Doom. And, and <laughs> what was Finn's yeah, Stormtrooper number? Okay, come on. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I forget that one. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> how many numbers? Hannah, can you give me a hint? I think it's four. Four numbers? Okay, one, two, three, four. I don't know. Jeez. I thought maybe two, and I could guess it. Isn't it like F1 and something? Oh. Uh, we're wasting be. so much time right now. To I'm sorry. be fair, I don't know it, shockingly enough, but the sequels don't exist in my mind. I see. So. His, his, his name is the... His name it, are the numbers. The Finn, like, yeah, one is the I. And then, oh. Uh, yeah, it's like FN2187 or something like that. There that's it. Go, that's it. Oh, Isaiah, that's FN2187. Isaiah wins. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, that was on purpose. I knew that. Congrats, Isaiah. You <laughs> win think, zero. I mean, I, that sounds right. Okay, so. okay. Either, Finn yeah, Storm two. Trooper number. I will Google it. Finn, FN2187. Oh Isaiah God. wins the Spot trivia. Spot on. Let's, go. Let's freaking go. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Thank you for I'm the sorry, trivia. I never did nothing for you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Should have known. <laughs> Stupid. Then, then we have Matt eighty seven Eagle says the historic episode sixty nine yep. is here. Yep. Now let's get Froggy Brothers. Let's get Froggy. Let's oh, do it. Oh boy. Then we have King Kenobi with twenty. Oh shoot. Just, just show love for the work. Keep up the climb. P.S. I hope Eden Soul Cleansing comes with a shrink. Um, see, you have a lot of hope and yeah. and uh, expectations for that. We'll see. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> then we have Matt the Third coming in again with another two dollars, saying episode sixty nine. Nice chat. We've hit an internet number. Expect that today. Don't go too far, otherwise the mods will smack you. Dart Angel dropped the aforementioned 50 more gifted Sweet. subs. Everybody's getting hooked up. Thank you, Dart. And, and then another 50, another right? 50 just yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, like, you're crazy. Why is my, you're insane. Oh my Thank God. You so much. Thank you so, so we much. We are caught up. Excellent. Thank you guys so much for all the donations. Thank you for the memberships. And thank you, Hannah, for reading those off. Appreciate all Absolutely. of you. Um, feel free to join the Discord if you want to continue the conversation and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The, the the people here, the cast, they keep saying we're going to eventually, the, the six of us are going to do a Star Wars marathon. If that ever does happen, I would, oh, I have a special, thank you. I just want to say that um, before you continue wife. on Hi. with that, you went to sleep. And right after you went to sleep, we watched all of it. Okay. <laughs> we did. We did. Yeah, we did. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You, you guys are so funny. <laughs> you guys are so yeah. funny. Oh, man. Always that's with so the funny. always with the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's not a joke. We 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 actually did. Like for we real. Did. It was for real. For real. Yeah, yeah. Fair. It was. It, it was, was just. We did do that. What did you do? Hold on. What did you guys do? We, it was the entire we watched, second we season of the entirety of the new Star Wars Vision show. <laughs> Wait, really? Okay. Like, okay, like, okay. like literally thirty seconds after you signed off. Wait, all of you? What the hell? Okay. Yeah. I guess I'm just cursed to never watch Star Wars. Then sounds good. No, no, no. But it motivated us to now watch the movies with you later so okay yeah, you're not getting out of this i don't know what you're yeah, trying yeah, yeah. to do here all right mm -hmm. let me know i i i have to i have to comment on something in the chat somebody has named themselves discord and their first chat says it is time to crash this party hey now oh my god <laughs> no oh, <really? laughs> never... discord no stay away please no oh, enjoy the episode this but don't chat. crash discord i'll do everything in my power to please you 
I'll do everything in my power. <laughs> I don't know what you want. If it's money, if it's no, Discord said yes, it's time. <laughs> no. Oh my god. If we if there's a Discord crash, can someone please ban Discord? That'd be great. All right. Yeah. 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 Mods attack. <laughs> please mods, watch out for that I'll user. Tag dude. light. Be like no, light. No, no, get no, in no, here. We have to placate Discord. <laughs> send him. Send him treats. <laughs> treats. <laughs> <laughs> treats. <laughs> okay. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're already uh, 10 minutes in, so let's go ahead and do this. All right. So, last time we left off in the world of towers and gods, we entered uh, this sort of Damien-esque carnival um, that seems to revolve around Damien. Uh, Damien has vanished, however, so the rest of you, you're all just kind of there at the carnival. It is uh, currently uh, the middle of the day, we're gonna say. Um, and the people are kind of talking to you, scattering around. But meanwhile, Damien, you arrived at what seems to be a version of your house. It feels like you've lived there a long time, but it feels unfamiliar at the same time. You're unsure what it could mean. You're with your parents, uh, your perfect parents who've always been there for you. And now you hear a knock at the door to your humble little home. And that's where we're gonna, that's where we're gonna pick up. So let me go ahead and play some music here. Uh, yeah. Okay. The mood has been set. The mood has been set. Nothing more needs to be said. I, uh, what did you say this, um, what did you say we were doing again? You're talking to your parents? Yes. Okay. Kind just laughs. <laughs> Damien, you're so silly. She rubs your head. Obviously, your girlfriend and her family are coming over. Don't you didn't remember? We planned this weeks ago. I, uh, must have forgotten. Well, I'll go get the door then. Please go answer the door. You're going to keep her waiting. What do you do? I, I walk over slowly to the door. Thoughts racing through my mind. It's like, oh god, if this isn't, if this isn't Fox Folk, mm. who, who could this be? Oh no, what is, what is gonna, what's about to happen? What, what am I gonna do? Okay, you open the door, and you see a familiar face. Uh, hello, I hope I'm not intruding. Mila is standing in the doorway. Oh, Mila? Is that Mila? Yes, I hope I'm not intruding. I know you have company that is planning on coming over at some point. How do you react to this? I'm utterly shocked. I thought that I thought that thing was my date for a second. <laughs> Uh, da uh, your, your father gets up and walks over. Uh, Damien, uh, this is your friend, correct? Yes. Yeah, fr friend. Yeah, yes. Dominic, you act as if you've never seen her before. She's been over millions of times. And Mila bows. It's good to see you, Mr. and Mrs. Frog. And then she looks over at you. We planned on talking today, remember? It'll just be for a few minutes. Um, I think I have company coming over soon. She reaches over and grabs your arm. It'll really only be for a minute. I hope this isn't too much of an inconvenience. We'll see you shortly, Mr. and Mrs. Frog. And she starts to, uh, like, almost drag you out of the doorway. Oh, okay. Do you... What do you do? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm coming with. You're coming with? All right. Sounds good. Goodbye, honey. Be sure to be back before dinner. And then yes, of course. Your father Love just you, Mom. nods. He nods. Love you too, sweetie. Mila takes you out of the door, and you look around, and the sights are just gorgeous. 
you get a better look at the house that you were in. It's like this perfect log cabin almost, except it's a log cabin that isn't necessarily like in the woods or on a mountain. It's like surrounded by a lush green field. There's a forest kind of encircling you in the distance, but you've got trees and flowers and there's an old tree house amidst the trees that are in your yard. And there's like an old tire swing and a couple swings and a garden, you know, it's like a picture perfect home. And now that you're out of the house, she lets go of your arm and slowly walks over to the swing set. Come on, this way. So what's this all about then? She turns and looks you in the eyes. I was hoping you could tell me. Tell you what exactly? You're Damien Frog, and I'm Jan Milla. We're best friends. Have been since we were kids. That's what you remember too, right? Yes, but it's complicated now. She tips her head, as if asking why. I... You, we, that's not the case anymore. What, what happened in the past is, is, is already done. I, the past, <sighs> as far as I know, and as far as what I should know, you're the son of Dominic and kind frog. You've worked a few odd jobs here and there, but overall, you have no desire to climb this tower. <laughs> but when I look at you now, it's as if these memories, she holds her head, conflict. How, how, how do you know that? I. You. What happened to you? I have a hypothesis. Would you like to hear it? Okay. She sits down on the swing. This, the way Mila's talking, it's very different from how you're used to, especially lately, um, seeing and hearing her. It's a very casual side of, to her. You're a regular climbing the tower. You're on- Which you should not be aware of, of that. She looks back at you. You're on team recall. And yet, and she looks back at the house. Everything inside of me is screaming at me and telling me that that's wrong and that you've been living with your family all your life. Damien, and she looks at you in the eyes. Are you on the hell train by any chance? He, he, yes, but... <laughs> you... You are... Data? You should know that. That's because I don't even really exist, do I? I, um... I'm just something you conjured up in your imagination, huh? That's the only way this makes sense. If I can make a, a hypothesis... All of this is the manifestation of my hopes and dreams and fears. This, what you see is, is what, what I desire, or did desire at one point. You desired the perfect family. Yes. That's all I've ever wanted. 
reality, though, is... I know this that can't be. That it's impossible to achieve this. And yet... But it was... It was what I desired, though. And yet... If... Go ahead. Look behind you. And you can kind of see through one of the windows in the house. You can see your dad on the rocking chair. You see Kine finishing up the meal, preparing for the company to come over. There they are. Even I... If I hadn't known that you were on the hidden floor, then... I would have thought I was real, too. (laughs) Funny, isn't it? This reality that you've created, I mean... I created this? I mean, of course I did. I must... Is that why my head hurts? The hidden floor... And she kind of throws her eyebrows. No. She looks at you again. This isn't the hidden floor, is it? This is... in the mirror. The mirror of souls on the hell train. I'm undergoing purification. Purification? I heard rumors that there was a second mirror, but I thought they were myth. Even after I've cleared the train myself. So my hypothesis would be that I'm some kind of combination of the Mila that cleared the train and your memories of her. I have to be, for what I know. I know things that your memories of me wouldn't know. (laughs) It's amazing. And here I thought you were some kind of contradiction. I don't know how I feel about you anymore, Mila. I don't think I hate you, but I certainly don't like you. Is there a reason for that? Is it because of our... confrontation? (sighs) You know damn well. So much pain you left me. I just wanted to see my father. I was so lost without him. Just me alone. All those years. So much emotion to sit on. So much pain. And everybody left. You included. So I worked at that store. So angry. So full of rage. That my perfect family, that my desire would never be fulfilled. Then the question should be, if your desire is never filled, what then? What will you do? I think I understand how to end this purification. Do you? It might be foolish, though. The state of things now are not even that good. The 
Pues... Damien. Regardless of where it is specifically that we are, the fact that you've created this says wonders about your... And this, this word kind of pops up. She kind of turns her head. Imagination. You perceive this, don't you? You could walk back into that home, and you can see that now Dominic and Kine are dancing through the window. You could walk back through that door and join them. Perhaps meet the love of your life. Who knows? Start a family, get a job, make friends who won't leave you. I'll start putting ideas in my head. But perhaps I don't know. Is that all you came here to say? Shouldn't I be asking you that question? It's you that created me after all. Uh, you are... You're a contradiction. I don't know why you're here. Or in the state that you are. That you are here, though. Shouldn't you have your own wants? I do have my own wants. And at one time, our goals really weren't so different, you and I. Dominic, she looked through the window. She looks through the window. When he left, it shocked everyone. He was really important to me. And yet I did my duty as a daughter of the Yan family, someone who may one day be the head of the Yan family in my mother's stead. And I did what must be done. You would lecture me about duty. About responsibility. I am the last living relative of my father. Wouldn't I have a right to know? <sighs> what do you wish of Dominic? I don't know what I wish. I want him to be here, yes, but... Damien, may I ask, what kind of a father was he to you? And she's still like on the swing and she beckons for you to sit on the swing next to her. Tell me, I want to know what Dominic was like with you. I sit down on the swing. He was everything everything a man should be, I, th I thought. Always said the right things, worked hard to support us, tried to be there when he could, and always knew what to say. I don't really know, but he always tried to be kind. And yet, to the Yan family, he was like our secret weapon, a master of camouflage, 
a spear bearer who was able to act as a scout as well. A ranker of some minor renown who worked in the shadows. Jihad's army, the Yan family, whoever his client was and whoever he worked under, he never once failed. Someone like him could have had riches, could have abandoned their could have abandoned their life for something greater. But he always refused. He chose the simple life, didn't he? But he wasn't always there for you, was he? Always out on missions. You would know more about that than me. spent a surprising amount of time at the Yon Mothership and in the Yon District on the 21st floor. Training me and teaching me the histories and the people of the tower. Being from the Yon family, I didn't really have a father figure in my life. But looking at it now, I think it's pretty clear that he was. Another thing the Yon family takes from me. Are you jealous, Damien? Yes. Yes, I am. Is that what you want to hear? Do you enjoy my pain so much? I'm asking you this because... After all of your years of searching... He's now... There. And he's not a father who will abandon you on a mission. He's not a father that will spend his days with the daughter of the Yan family instead of his own true son. He's in that room now, waiting for you. Is it everything you've ever wanted? This world that you've created? You know what I see, Mila? That I am at a crossroads. If I choose this world, I give up everything. I give up everything that I had in the previous. In the tower. This is what I desire, yes, but... Think about the others as well. We were very well couldn't end this unless purification goes through or... or unless... But, but... You can't make me choose such an impossible cho choice, I just... No, you can't make me choose anything. This is all you. That's right. You have no bearing on this world. You are just an observer. She smiles. Would you like me to go? Leave me. I would like to see this world for myself. She smiles again. And then as the wind kind of picks up, it's like she slowly, from top to bottom, like vanishes away. <sighs> what 
what do you think Grace found there? Your I'm old truly happy. Your old best buddy Grace. The memories come flooding back the more you look at him, the way he acts, the way he moves. He starts nuzzling you again and kind of gets into a position where he's able to rest on your shoulder and fall asleep at peace. It doesn't answer my question, Race Felger, but okay. That's cool. Let's go back to father. You start heading towards the door, and as you start heading there, so does somebody else. Towards father, you say? Hello there, Damien. And suddenly, oh! Tear Seth is at the door. It's you. Tear Seth. You wouldn't happen to be my guest, right? We're gonna cut away. We're gonna cut back to that in a minute here. We're gonna. We're gonna. You are a cruel, fair. cruel person. You are That's so not fair. Cruel. Go back. <laughs> if we all collectively say go back, you'll go back, right? <laughs> One, two, three, go back. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was just you, Hannah. Sorry. I'm kidding. It's because I forgot to unmute. <laughs> I said it. In heart. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. So meanwhile, back to back to the main group, Team Recall. Uh, and Band of Bones, uh, who are who are not the same team. Definitely not the same team. You all and are... Lonnie. You're back at the car. I'm sorry, what was that? I said, and Lonnie. <laughs> and Lonnie. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, you're, you're, you're back at the carnival. Uh, and, and as I said, uh, time has sort of... It's almost like once the play finished, once, uh, you know, there was like this darkness that was over the, over the field. And once it finished, it's almost like... By the time you, you look back at the sky, it's like afternoon again. It's almost like the sky darkened just for your little performance. Um, but now it's sort of back to where you're able to walk around and see everything in that sense. Now, the crowd is dispersed after your performance. And the sort of manager of the play, who was kind of giving most of the instructions and the orders, he walks up, his mask still on his face. Absolutely phenomenal job from our actors. Of course, we had a few <laughs> bad apples, but what performance troupe doesn't? What? Who doesn't run into their fair share of issues? And in time, I'm sure we'll eventually perfect our technique. Now, my question for you is this. What do you think of this carnival? Five out of seven. I need my ear back. <laughs> <laughs> Yelp review. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I see. Anyone else? It's intriguing. How so? Well, my friend aforementioned the disappearing of body parts. Intriguing. Well, Everyone here is wearing masks. And the day cycle doesn't seem to be following its track. Masks? I don't know why we're here. What do you refer to by masks? What you're wearing. My lady, we are just ordinary citizens attending our everyday life here at this carnival. Now... I'm sure you all know, as new employees of the circus, the carnival that is here in town, there will be a couple more tests we would like you to undergo to make sure you're a perfect fit here. And if you were to pass these tests, why, I dare say you will land more than just the job. You may learn something true about yourself, something you may not have realized, something deep within you, something so hidden away because of your own personal desires shadowing it, Something so true to who you are that once you discover it about yourself, you'll be forever a changed person. However, as with everything in life, I believe that choices are paramount. I will ask you to choose now. There are 10 of you in this theater troupe, 
And amongst the ten of you, you will each be given two free points. And it's almost like you can almost, it's its like this little thing pops up above your head. You kind of look up and you see this little bar of like, it's like a little bar and there's like a line in the middle that kind of shows that you have two free points. Yellow colored. Now, you may spend these two free points doing various activities around the carnival. And then he hands you each a list. You have no idea if this is going to be like forced upon you. You have no idea like... Well, what is even probably happening? But I'll put this in the chat as well as say it out loud. <clears throat> you have three choices of how to spend your afternoon. You may watch the finest movie of the century over at the movie theater, The Tale of Frog. Or, if you so wish, you may play Stick Fighter over at the arena. And lastly, you may play Barkeep's Best at the tavern. I'm going to move you on roll 20 to where you can see the map. Oh, boy. Hmm. We do something really quick here as well. This will help a couple of things. This will help make this litter in just a moment. You may choose whichever activities you wish, but go on, choose one. Can we know what they are? Of course, if you would like more context, I can provide it. That would be fantastic. He's like waiting as if, go on, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Stick fighter, barkeeper's best, and a movie. Well, can we get more elaboration? They all speak for themselves, of course. Uh, the movie is a, a famous showing of the, the hit performance, uh, the, the hit made by the most famous playwright, the most famous actors, a beautiful story brought to the theater, a, a, a form of cinema that has been never before seen here at the carnival. Um, a tale of the brave hero frog defeating the evil frog and the twists and turns and betrayals therein. Stick Fighter is pretty simple. If you enjoyed doing this puppet show that we just finished, then you may use those skills in Stick Fighter to perform against your friends and turned enemies and play uh, a fighting game with each other. And lastly, Barkeep's Best is a competition. A competition in which your dexterous skills and charisma skills will be used to determine who the best barkeep is amongst your group. You may choose. Do we get paid for bartending? You will get paid in a currency that you will thank me for later. <laughs> that that doesn't sound like the currency of points. <laughs> Here that at the, doesn't fill my pocket. <laughs> Here at the carnival, points are useless. I'm sorry. I can't believe this. But Would you deny a child point. cotton candy because they don't have enough points? Could you truly be so heartless? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> you can look them in the eyes and tell them, no cotton candy for you. Yes. Tata Junior, go find mom and dad. <laughs> and bring their pocketbook. <laughs> Damien Subconscious has never met Brad Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> I see the barkeeping game is catching your interests. Oh, how long is the movie? About an hour. Oh, Each of these activities is going to take um, roughly an hour. Um, barkeep's best in stick fighter. <laughs> You'll have to choose one to spend your free point on. And then afterwards, three more activities will be available to you to spend your last available free point. So you're, so, so you're making this. Hmm. Bar keeps best. Bar keeps best. And one of the free points kind of lights up. This just helps me keep track. Everyone else? Shion uh, whispers over to you, Jong. Do we even have to do this? 
Something tells me that all of this is by design by the mirror. Whether we like it or not, we're here to play this game. Maybe I can get my arm back if I do. That'd be pretty nice, huh? That is the priority. In fact, hey, mask guy. You may call me the manager. How exactly and where do we go to get our arms back that you took? I don't seem to understand the question. Where do we go to get our missing body parts back? You're missing... Oh, the precious items that you lost. Those things that were very precious to you. Is that what you are referring to? Yep, that's exactly what I'm referring to. He walks over to you, and you can't see his eyes, but you almost feel the gaze through the mask. Tell me, why do you believe that your arm was taken? This feels like a test. So I'm just going to tell you that it's because I did poorly in the play. Well, of course, that's part of it. I mean, you did, you, 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 uh, your performance was, was certainly par. It was standard. However, the true answer was, the true question I'm looking for, the true answer I'm seeking is, why specifically your arm? You're saying you could have each lost body anything part else. that Why we own? lost was specific to us. Not only that, but we as human beings are inherently flawed. I was very honest when I said you will lose something precious to you. However, even though you clearly have a relationship with that girl over there, you didn't lose her. No, you lost something of yours. What does that mean? It means that all of us are flawed. In ways that I hope that you will recognize soon. Now, please, I ask that you choose an activity for your free time. Wait a minute, none of that answered my question. I know. This guy. Hey, that's more honest than I see has ever been. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very low bar to be fair. <laughs> Eden's gonna turn to the group. I think if we split up, we could get the most information out of whatever the situation is. I think we should have some go to the movie, some go to stick fighters, some, some go to um, the barkeeping game. But the main uh, team recall needs to be present for all of them. This is about Damien, after all. You're so, saying there's a point to each one of these places existing? I think so. And the more information we can get, maybe the more we can help Damien, just like how we helped you. I'm still upset I didn't win Best Actor. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, that's me above table. <laughs> you but, did great. Appreciate that, Aki. That being said, are you implying that the Band of Bones should also split up? There's three of us. We can each pick a game. Hans, Ryobe. They kind of like stand at attention. Even, although Hans cannot see. Um, <laughs> oh, baby. He, he looks at Hans. On second thought, Ryobe, can you babysit him? Uh, Ryobi just like sighs. Sure, <laughs> boss. Appreciate that. <laughs> it's like I didn't do poorly the play. I don't know where the name I want to play stick fighter. I think it's pretty obvious that I. Well, I'm pretty bad at video games, but hopefully it's nothing like that. All right, so we got one for Stick Fighter. Which one from Team Recall wants to go with the Duke to Stick Fighter? 
I'll go play Stick Fighter. <laughs> What'd you say, Woo? I said I'll go play Stick Fighter. He, uh, he kind of raises an eyebrow. I hope you and I are opponents. You don't want that smoke, dude. <laughs> Who's your main? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm more of a stickly guy myself. You know? <laughs> uh, Lonnie says, honestly, after all, everything that's happened, I could go for a movie right now. All right. Xion, Jong, Brack. Wait, it was just three options, right? Yep, I yes. put them in the chat. Movie, stick fighter, um, barkeeper's game. Okay. Brack already picked barkeep's best. Okay. Uh, Hans Ryobe, where are you going? Well, I guess we should stick together. Um, We'll do Barkeep's Best, I guess, as well. But Hans can't see. Maybe the movie might be better. <laughs> you won't be able to see does. the movie. <laughs> no, no. Wait, no. He can hear it. <laughs> yeah, but seeing is like half of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> but you think him slinging drinks is going to be easier? Wait, you're saying there's not blind bartenders? Okay, let's just uh, let's just God. imagine whichever one he picks, he's gonna have a tough time. <laughs> <laughs> There's always the blind jokes. Yeah, it never leaves. It wasn't a, I was looking out for this. I know, I know, but they they turned it into something else. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Um. And then Duke goes, but no one from Team Recall be at the movie, or will they be anyway? That's what I'm trying to ascertain. Fine. You two go see the movie. That leaves Eden, Jong, Hugo, and Xion. Hugo says, I'll do what Brack is doing. Okay. I guess I'll go uh, check out the movie. Right. My boy, Big H, already dressed for the occasion. Yeah! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> like a bartender. <laughs> Hey, He's so pretty. He's like a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna find his calling in this tower. Try to tell you, you might get all the time. Right, I guess I'll try it. Like, perfect. He, just, he starts yeah. like. <laughs> 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 oh no! He's like, yeah, we was kicking it back then. <laughs> um, Eden and Shion are the only ones remaining. Well, Shion? I'll do the bartending game. All right. Guess that leaves me with Stick Fighter. Well, well, well. Maybe you'll be my opponent after all, Lockie. Mm-hmm. You sure would like that, wouldn't you? Depends on what you mean. Whatever you want to infer from that is up to you. I'll think on it. <clears throat> Fantastic! Everyone has chosen uh, <laughs> their allocated free time. You may go about as you wish and, and, and find your locations. Uh, they will be starting in just a few minutes, so it is best that you hurry and make do. Um, but very well. Enjoy. And he oh, leaves sure as will. if you will Enjoy. all find your way on your own. We have a choice. Uh, Shion looks at where her arm was. Maybe the barkeep game was the wrong idea. <sighs> Enjoy the oh, movie, John. What is Shion missing again? Her right arm. <clears throat> Tiger arm person. I, um... Ooh, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I've just... <laughs> I just want to let you know, whatever you have drop, I won't pick up, but I will be there in spirit. Did you just say you won't pick up what I drop? I mean, I will pick up what you drop with laughter, but... <laughs> mm. 
you you should have went to go see the movie. The problem it's was just... Hans and Ryobe were already going there along with Lonnie. Yeah, but there's just... three of them. Well, and Jong was go just I'm not here to argue about it. It's fine. Right. I can do what you do with one arm, no problem. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you can shake a drink, but <laughs> Oh my god, you can shake it with one hand? Shake it with one hand, bro. Stop this. Oh, I should go doubt. keep it closed. I'm just doubt. saying. Tiger Empress, brother. Ace is going to come for your shoes talking like this. I mean, she has another arm, so it's um, just cool. Uh, right. Well, I'll see you all later. Enjoy the games. And if you find any information about our destination... Let me know. All right, team, break. Okay. Just keep your eyes and ears open for anything about Damien. That's the main goal here. I don't think he gives a rat's ass about Damien. I'm talking to the associates of Damien Frog. And please relay the information. Hopefully we're past secrets by this point. She'll turn and follow the Duke. Okay. Perfect. I've allocated on the map. <laughs> Isaiah, I have you as like CJ, just because I copied the tokens over it. I was like, yeah, eh, whatever. So. Brother, brother, <laughs> we already know CJ's your favorite John. You I did this is, just don't put words, words in my mouth. I'm just fine. saying it's the token. It, no, no, no. You put the words in your own okay, mouth. Okay, whatever you say. No, it, he, whatever you he say. just misses Victor about. so much. You know, maybe that's it. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> he, that he wanted to upgrade. I understand. I understand. The upgrade? The upgrade? Wow. Wow. And I Golly! Accept the honor. That's all I'm Yo. saying. Talk your shit, CJ. Okay. I, I love <laughs> above the table though. I love that Jong has gone with all of the randos that he's never gonna remember any of them. I know. I know. Those are his companions. <laughs> it's fucking perfect for me. <laughs> oh, God, I'm just gonna go that... watch the movie, bro. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> it is funny looking at the map. They're the only ones with like not an actual yeah. token, you know. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna watch a movie eye. with uh, two knights and a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Oh no. So so we're gonna start with the movie actually. So I'm gonna keep it pretty brief. So Jong, you enter the movie, uh, you sit down. It's like your traditional uh, movie theater, just like really large and the audience is packed with people wearing masks. A lot of kids, you notice. Um you're you kind of you're guessing that maybe this is a movie like rated G or PG, you know, something like that. You're sitting in the audience. Uh so do you sit with the people who entered with you? Or like what's your What's your seat? Um, you know, what, what's your ideal well, seat? I mean, yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, he's just gonna go sit mm -hmm. wherever the cl the closest seat. I, he's not really particular about where or who he's sitting with. Got you. Okay, so yeah, you sit with the group. Uh, you happen to sit next to Hans, um, and Hans says, "Hey, Jong." What is it? Ryobe is being kind of mean. Um, would you mind? If something happens, could you describe it to me if they don't say it? Because I don't, Ryobe, I just, he's going to make fun of it and he's going to be, I'm just, I'm so, I, I can't even cry. I don't have my eyes. I can't even. Bro, get Hans out of here, bro. He deserves so much better than this. Hans. That's what your name was? Yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. Okay. And the movie starts. And the movie starts. Okay. I'm going to describe this movie to you, okay? Uh, and, of course, you don't... Describe it to me. Describe it to me. <laughs> very funny. Very funny. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Describing the movie in general. All right? Now... Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this tale? Are you ready for this this adventure know, that's about to begin? Send me on a wild ride, brother. You got it. Uh, let me do this. Okay, 
The movie is called The Tale of Frog. It's a live action movie, so it's not like a cartoon or anything, um, about frogs. The movie opens with this farmyard, this, this sort of like a guy with a tractor, you know, he's doing his farm work, it's getting late. It's a frog. The frog's name is Froginson. He's a farmer. He's, a, he's like a, you know, guy, the guy who's tending to the crops, taking care of the sheep and all that. Froginson. However, he, this is sort of the way the movie opens. There's like this ball of light that flies by in the darkness, and he's looking around wondering what happens. And then the ball of light heads towards him again, but this time it impales him through the chest. Froginson is sort of like the opening death of the movie to sort of set the tone, right? Froginson is killed. Not Froginson, brother. I know, I know. Froginson so is murdered. Um, it's revealed eventually that the sort of overall antagonist of the movie is Frogson. He, so Frogson is actually a human, but Frogson, Frogson used to be a frog, but abandoned his frog nature to become a human. Um, and that's sort of like the overall theme of the movie is like what makes a frog, right? Um, mm -hmm. So Frogson kills Froginson here. So what happens afterwards is that the protagonist, Frogtar, to rescue his... <laughs> So Frogtar wants to rescue his girlfriend who was kidnapped, right? Froga. Froga. So Froga, so Froga is kidnapped by the villain. There's this ultimate climax of like after Frog after uh, Frogtar gets stronger and stronger and trains throughout the film. <laughs> eventually Frogtar fights Frog and Sin. Now, the reason and the way that Frogtar is able to use his abilities to win is that he fights the villain at night. He tricks the villain into fighting mm. at night. And because frogs have such good night vision, the human being, uh, the antagonist, Frogsin, oh, is not yeah. able to win. And so Frogtar defeats Frogsin, rescues Froga, and it's a happy ending, except for Froginson, who no one even found his body. Um, Bro, how you say that name with a straight face, though? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's it. And it's like, it's implied that if it was otherwise, if it was during the day, the villain would have won. But regardless, that is the oh, outcome. Man. And the, the, like the hero, battle. right, the hero of the story is Frog Tar. Frog Tar. And it's a happy ending where they have a big frog family, and that's the end. Okay, Please okay. claim your crown in the yeah, chat. You, That's wait, all I'm gonna say. What I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> you, you wrote that and you delivered it without us cracking a single smile. That's impressive. Well, it's well, a very good movie. But, but <laughs> it definitely told a story. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it, it, it's an it's an Academy Award winning thing, you know. I mean, I I wouldn't I I might up the rating if we had like frogs making a family at the end of the movie. That's a little that's a little. Nah, much that's but, that's but, at know. least at eighty seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> I got you. It's, it's like a ninety three percent like audience purpose. rating. Audience score is like yeah, ninety seven percent audience score. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Everybody yeah. singing Frog Tar's praise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they all came in with Frog Tar shirts. Like it was kind of a bias group. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it is in here in Damien's head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your Discord chat. Okay, I'm gonna close out. Of it. <laughs> 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 all right. <clears throat> so that's the movie. Um, everyone starts getting up to leave, you know, some of the parents start mumbling about how it, it should have been like rated PG-13 at least. Um, but overall, it seems like everyone enjoyed it. Oh, <laughs> um, take yeah, it to the future, man, you know, now the world, you know. <laughs> they enjoyed it. Right. But there was only really one person who was giving a standing ovation and it was, uh, uh, Ryobe. Ryobe was like, now that is cinema. And he, he seems to have forgotten all about Hans in the moment. Um, but Hans, he says that he, he, he was able to get the gist of it from, from everything. But Lani, Lani talks to you, Jong. W was there any meaning to any of that? I certainly hope so, Lani, because that was like a whole hour of our lives. Um... Jong, Ryobe says, who is your favorite character? Lonnie says the there was frog. like two. Lonnie, just go with me. It was the frog. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Who is your favorite character? This guy. Uh, Lonnie, who was your favorite character? I, the main guy, I guess. The main frog. He was. Dope. Yeah, the main frog. That one. Yeah. You don't even remember. We just watched the movie and you don't remember his name. They said it a thousand times. Ryobe, when you like a movie that much names are just so beneath you wouldn't you agree hmm i'm watching you anyway what does that mean? let's head back shall I we isn't <laughs> okay Anna. come on 
Alright. <clears throat> cool. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Meanwhile, cutting to the arena. Eden, Wu, the Duke, you've arrived. <clears throat> and the arena is like this long tent. It's almost like uh, the tent that was set up... Uh, at Prime City uh, before leaving for the workshop battle, that, that big place where everybody could do battle and such, except it's like kind of rectangular. And there's a bunch of tables scattered around with various puppet sh uh, puppet stages, very tiny puppet stages at each of them. And there seems to be someone with a mask at each table. Man, we gotta fight with puppets. The uh, welcome. I assume the three of you are combatants. Yep. That's why we're here. I see. Um, you do know how these puppets work, correct? I figured we were gonna do the fighting, so tutorial. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll give you the tutorial. And a little word pops yeah. up above his head that says tutorial. Now, the way this works is very similar to what you did for the theater. Uh, listen, what did you do for the theater? I played the end. That's not. No, 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 no. I'm asking, how did you. How did you portray the characters? We used puppets? How did you use the puppets? How puppets are used? Aki, let me handle this. There are emotions. That's right! Congratulations, Duke. You, you, you are on the right track here. He kind of gives you a smirk, Aki, like... I knew more than you. Eden has flashbacks of the Lindquist test and how she missed very <laughs> obvious things. Oh, no. And she's just like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, not this shit again. <laughs> you will be controlling these puppets through your emotions. Now, how this will work is you'll be seated at a table and you will do battle with one of our dummies to practice. And then the three of you will be fighting each other. There will only be one victor. How this will work is you will eat and flinches. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. That was totally necessary. I know. She heard the name though. Is there something wrong? I'm just kidding. Uh, I was just like, Bob. let's make it all about <laughs> that. <kicks> him. Yeah. <laughs> no, you just like, Wu would notice that she did that. Okay. I hope you all are good actors because both your acting and your imagination will be used for your character. Follow me. And you're each placed at a different puppet table, and you're each given a separate instructor. And they each tell you, create your character. I will say, though, like, as they were walking by, because of the smirk that the Duke gave Eden, she would have, like, lightly punched him in the back as they walked away. Okay. Just to get back at him a little bit. He just would have smirked. Mm-hmm. She just, she just shakes her head with a smile. All right. Create your character, please. Hold on, what aspects of the puppet can I customize exactly? Oh no. Use your imagination. Hmm, so anything is possible. <laughs> Just like Tears oh, of the Kingdom. Uh, 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 <laughs> the the oh, the the theoret <laughs> theoretically, yes. Let me send you a list of specific <laughs> Okay. Okay. We're gonna be here as any t character creator, as everyone knows. We'll be here about six hours, yeah. and we'll play thirty minutes of the game, yep. and then we'll never pick it up again. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Please create your characters. Furious typing and she about to create one <laughs> of those typing. abominations that's in Street Fighter Six. Like I can <laughs> see it now. <laughs> If you would like, I can give you guys some time and cut back to you, but... Or, yeah, or, please do. Okay, so... Because <laughs> I looked and Wu is actually typing to me, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I guess we're cutting away! So, Eden, Don't feel free to... Take some time to... <laughs> take some time to come up with your uh, custom character here. Okay. So, meanwhile, over at the uh, tavern, right? Uh, everyone is in there. Everyone that's in there is having a good time. They're having a jolly good time. You know, the tavern doesn't even have a name. It's just called Tavern, right? You walk in. It's packed with people. They're all still wearing masks. And there seems to be a lead barkeep who walks up to, the, to all of you. Very tall. Not as tall as you, Brack. But very burly with a large mask over his face with a big bushy beard. I assume you're the participants. And I assume that you're the owner of this fine establishment. That's right. You can call me Barkeep. 
However, Barkeep is exactly what the three of you, the three of you are going to become. Tell me, have you ever served a drink? Served my fair share of drink. Not of ill, but of a delicious variety. It's made me quite wealthy. <laughs> I see, so you have a business involving spirits, we'll say. Libations, but we'll call them spirits for now. Very good. Then let's just say my expectations for you are even higher. They shouldn't be. <laughs> the other two of you. Any experience? I've I've poured my milk for my cereal. Does that count? And the part you just stares at her, doesn't say anything. How about you? And Hugo doesn't say anything, so the barkeep doesn't say anything either. It's just a jolly good conversation all around between all of you. Right. Here's how this is going to work. Each of you will be given command of your own section of the bar. And it's up to you to battle it out with each other to determine which of you is the best barkeep. What this means is that you have full customization possibility over the bar. At least your area of the bar. And at the end of the game, whoever has more patrons in their area of the bar wins the game. This isn't fair. Big H has on basically the whole entire <laughs> ensemble that's going to give him a plus 10 boost in this barkeep game. Come on. Can we, can we, uh, deepen the pot a little bit? I'm a f the way this is going to work is you have full customization potential, which means you will have employees who will be at your beck and call. If you would like them to fetch you a new outfit, they can fetch you a new outfit. If you'd like them to paint your area of the bar a certain color, they can do that. They can name your bar. They can create your drinks. They're there to assist you. Ah. Uh, then I would like to put in, please name my bar section. Nobody take my name. Nobody take my name. I'm looking at you, <laughs> Tiger Empress. Call mine's drinkers of the wave. Yeah. That is, yeah, that's, that's entirely up to you once the game starts. I'm going to have nothing to do with it. But, but you... Oh, where's just... the command? Where's the console? And Brack just walks off looking <laughs> for a way to configure his stuff. So, so, so eventually uh, you're each given your own. It's like a, the, the way they have it set up is that each bar is like in a corner of this room. It's set up so that it, roughly each of you has the same number of tables and chairs. And for now, the bar, everyone leaves the bar. The bar is emptied. Each of you has three uh, employees that you can uh, order to do certain tasks. They're all wearing masks. Do they have names? They do not have names. You may, if you would like to give them names, you can. Um, they all look identical and they're all wearing the same thing. MK1, you'll be assigned at station zero. <laughs> he, uh, yes, sir. Good, good, good. I'm glad you knew your name. All right. <laughs> KI1. You'll be assigned Station 1. MK1 raises his hand. Question. If my name is MK1, why am I at Station 0? Don't question me, MK. Yes, sir. Don't question me. Yes, sir. Can't believe it. they're already getting uppity and it's their first day on a job. God dang, going new hires. All right. Now. SK. You're in station two. Okay. They, they, they figured out their names, so they have their orders. All right. Now, if any of you messed up, I'm going to call you something very unruly. And you're not going to know that I'm calling you it. Because you won't know that that's your name or new name. So, don't fail me. Yes, sir. All right. Brack just looks over at uh, Tiger Empress Station and uh, Big H Station. He's like, I can't let them beat me. I mean, she only got one arm. She can't. <laughs> she can't in per se, but she's not mixing the drinks. I thought we were going to mix the drinks. And 
Big H can't talk, so I'm at a I'm at a win. I'm at a win. All right, we begin the game in three, two, one. Begin. All right, what are your orders, Brack? Did anybody come into my uh, station? So far, it's just a few people who are like looking around, trying to determine where to go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have drinks for all. We have delicious kiwi strawberry water, as well as a nice bite. Shinsu delicious delight that you can get from our gracious server, our main barkeep. MK1 over at Station Zero. But let's say that you, 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 you want something a little stronger, maybe a nice little tonic. You can go ahead and go to SK at Station Two for a nice and heavy island dream. We call it the Shinsu Supreme. Go ahead and go to my team over there at Station 2! Now, at Station 1, where the delightful KS is. And yes, it does stand for Kill Steal, because he is going to steal your soul with this drink! Don't ask what it is, we call it the Mystery Tonic. We learned about it way back on Floor 21. Don't worry, it was the thing with an octopus. Now. Go ahead and go to station one. And then Brock just looks over at the rest of them. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. They can't beat that. Got you. Um, wait, did, can you remind me of the drink that was the first drink you mentioned? <laughs> do, you, do you remember what it was? <laughs> the first drink is both non-alcoholic yeah. and uh, okay. then there's the second that's drink right. that uh, MK serves that's, that's alcoholic. Right. Got it, got it. It's like the strawberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. You look over, so um, it seems like they're like, oh, they're kind of rubbing their chins like, hmm, those sound pretty good. Uh, come one, come all. Our bar serves beer of all kinds. Right, guys? And they're all just like standing at attention. another arm. <laughs> we, serve, we serve alcohol. So if you want to, if you... <sighs> look. If you want to, if you want to get... If you if you want to get drunk, just come over to my bar, okay? If you want to get really really drunk and really if if you if you want to have the best time of your life, this is where we are. We don't have fancy drinks like him over there, but we don't need it because our drinks speak for themselves. Thank you. Yo, she speaks for the heart. Let's go. Okay, good. she brought it back. She brought it back. She brought Sorry, it back. Sorry, you got competition, my guy. That's that's a pretty solid sale right there. I don't know why I picked this, bro. <laughs> just, just rip your shirt off. It'll be great. <laughs> Show me them abs. He just, like, grabs the, the cups and grabs a rag. He, like, slings the rag over his shoulder. <laughs> I mean, he looked the part, so, yeah, this, this, this will work. And then he grabs a mug and he starts, like, rubbing the inside of it with, with uh, another rag. He's like looking around and he whispers to one of the helpers and they start running around and they come back with some paints, but he doesn't say anything. Hmm. The people who are walking in, they seemed intrigued by both you and Shion especially. Can you give me a performance roll with advantage? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you for giving me advantage. I, I appreciate you. No problem. Not 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so at first, it's like two people go over and sit down at your stations, and one of the three goes over and sits down at Shion's, right? The one over at Shion's just starts ordering drink after drink after drink and just starts, like, swinging them back, right? The one at your... The ones over there... They're asking for the Shinsu Supreme. You know, they're, they have the question, like, excuse me, Baki... I know you said you wouldn't tell us, but what truly is in the mystery tonic? 
Trust me, just know that it's enough to make you forget about your day's woes. It's enough to make you forget about that thing that happened five years ago on a, <laughs> on a crisp summer's eve where you did that thing with you know who, but you don't want to really tell you know what. That's what happened. And see, 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 right now you're forgetting about it as you take each sip. <laughs> Uh-oh, give me a sec. I guess the stream is buffering. Oh, no. The stream is buffering. Well, you guys are smooth on my end. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fine to me. But... You sure? Yeah, it's looking good on... Yeah, it looks fine oh. to me. It says good now? You guys are saying good now? Yeah. Are we it back? Looks yeah, yeah, yeah. It says lagging can... like hell. Did they miss the... the... I'll ask. I'll ask you in a sec. <laughs> well, Barry said he's spitting, so... It's good now? Is it good now? Okay. It's good now? Oh, I can see. Okay. Looks like the... Uh... The quality drip dipped down for a minute, but we are back, it looks like. So wonder if that render finished. Hmm. No, that finished a long time ago. That finished a long okay. time ago. <laughs> How sure dare you? About it. How dare you? <laughs> just, 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 that was a long time This ago. is internet related, okay? <laughs> okay? We good now, brothers? Okay, okay. So so I'll just just in case people missed it, uh the mystery tonic you, you kinda described a little bit about I think they heard most of it. Um just they're gonna forget about their blah 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 blah. I think they heard most of it, so um they're just lagging a bit. Oh, interesting. Can I ask about the ingredients in the drink? Chaos. What, what are you mixing it with? You didn't give me any orders, so it's just a normal alcoholic beer. It's a beverage. So lie then. I got you. All right. So <clears throat> what it's mixed with. One hint of ginger. You know, you got to stay a little bit healthy. It's it's good because it soothes the soul ever so slightly. Then we give it 15% alcohol content. Mix it in a little bit. Give it that nice frothy harp flavor. Not harp, but harp flavor. And then after that, we dash it with a bit of cinnamon and another 15% alcohol content. There you go. Sounds intriguing. Can you roll a uh, deception? <laughs> I'm on fire today, baby. Another nat twenty. Oh my god! <laughs> this is this is oh, Rex oh. Wheelhouse, bro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Not in combat, but slinging drinks. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, the guy that does a double take. That's that sounds perfect. I'll have three. And the. Uh, <laughs> You're the man. You're the man. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> Next time, try real quick. Someone else approaches you. Excuse me. What is the name of your fine establishment? The name of my fine establishment is Drinkers of the Wave, where you can come and partake in the ever crashing gale that is a raging wave. Fascinating. Bro, can I come through? Real quick? <laughs> yeah, it was oh, a... like. <laughs> Really no, it was like, I don't need my sobriety anymore. I want to drink at this establishment. <laughs> He's really selling me out here. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of convincing, to be honest. Uh, you hear them over t over at Shion's table. Excuse me, what is the name of your establishment? Uh, name? Uh, um, and she looks over at you, Brack. Tiger Empress. That Yeah, Tiger Empress. Uh, get your drinks here. Salon! Uh, Tiger, Tiger Empress Salon! We, we are the Tiger Empress. She like tells you to shut up. We are the Tiger Empress. And we have drinks. So yeah, come and get them. And she puts on a Brack fake grin. Gives her, Brack gives her a thumbs up from across the front. <laughs> uh, how about you, sir? And you notice that Hugo has gained a couple of people. Uh, you notice that a couple of them seem to be young ladies who are kind of just like, you know, watching Hugo at work. He like looks at the two of them and then he points up and you can see he has one of the employees painting uh, the sign overhead. And you notice mm -hmm. that it's painted Hugo's. <laughs> Actually, that's perfect. <laughs> sure, that's perfect. <laughs> hey. I mean, we had cheers, like Hugo's is perfect. Yeah. Perfect, do you have any other orders for the employees? I just tell them to keep it up. Uh, KS, if you need to take a break, MK, you can go ahead and handle what KS is doing. KS, please give him the the, the, the real ingredients. 
if you do need to take a break. And uh, SK, fine over there? Good. Thumbs up. Good. All right. Now. He, he doesn't give any more orders. Okay. So one thing that happens is that while MK is serving drinks, he ends up dropping the tray and the beer lands onto one of the customers. How do you handle that? I try to catch it before it, uh, oh. before it lands. So first, roll perception. Oh, baby. Oh, here today. Perception. 21. 21. Okay. So now roll sleight of hand. Um, it's going to be a double, double roll, but if you, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't even need to say the rest. Okay. I don't remember what my sleight of hand is, but that's an 18. 18? You Plus notice whatever. it. You, your instincts are on point. You're behind that bar. You're looking around. You see it right as it happens. <laughs> You reach out and catch the drink right as it's like the beer kind of like sloshes up against the rim, but doesn't even not a drop falls. Sir, are you fine? Are you okay? Uh, Please forgive uh, my. Uh, I was a little flustered, but I'm fine. Thank you. Please forgive my humble employee. He's 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 just a little bit flustered at the moment, but I, as you can see, no no harm, no foul. Your drink wasn't spilled. Here, one on the house, good sir. Oh, th thank you. <laughs> Drinkers of the wave, I'm gonna go tell my friends about this place. Please do. Please do. Matter of fact, here's my card. Brack, Brack, <laughs> like, oh. Um, okay. uh, <clears throat> uh, sir, you, you didn't give us cards? I told you. Uh, no card? If you wanna make your employees make cards, you can. I didn't think about that. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sir, but if, if you would like, please just tell your friends. Please, mean the world to me. Uh, will do, will do. And he like holds up the drink. He starts drinking. Um, you look at Shion, and you notice that one of her employees uh, breaks a glass. Uh, d uh, shoot. Um, uh, that's fine, right? Uh, she kind of like whispers to the employee. She seems to kind of be handling it, and then uh, and then the the the, the, uh, the customer goes, "There's gl glass on my shoe. H how are you going to?" Huh? Oh, sorry about that. Hey, can we can we sweep that up? Can we figure that out? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, sorry. Oh no. The guy just like gets up and walks out of the uh, walks out of the room. I said sorry. What? And then over at Hugo's table, um, you notice that he is trying his best. So Hugo is doing. Hugo's trying something. Hugo's trying something. He he like is very silent for a minute, and he seems to be whispering with his employees a lot and they seem to be telling him a lot of things he seems to be like getting a lot of help and advice from them so there's one moment where he lines up the glasses like in a row <clears throat> and he like takes the pitcher come on hugo come on baby let me pull up his character sheet Oh no. <laughs> nah, he got it. He got it. We just gotta believe. Line those tumblers up and pour them in those cups. He swings the rag back over his shoulder and he starts pouring it. There's like 10 glasses in a row. It like hits the second two perfectly and then just like makes a mess by the end. Oh no! no. It's like a <laughs> He said, let me pull up this character shit that you was a rat. I was like, is there gotta, anything that could this, save bro. this? And I saw you had a plus zero, and I was like, okay. Damn it, Icarus. Damn it, you flew too close to me. <laughs> a couple of people kind of give him pity claps. Like, they're like, well, he tried, you know. They give him, like, pity claps. Uh, but a couple of the, uh, the girls there, they seem to be cheering him on. Like, you know, in full force. Hugo, that's your market. <laughs> that's your demo. <laughs> okay. It seems like time is passing by. There's only like 15 minutes left. Do you have any like finishers for your segment of the bar of the barkeeping uh, game? Any finishing statements or finishing things that you would like your employees to do? Uh, Brack tells all of them. MK, SK. Okay, yes. How do I look? What I'm going to ask you guys to do, just let me know if you're capable. If it's not, if it's not in your wheelbarrow, just say 
Brack, it's not in our wheelbarrow, but we'll try. I mean, I mean, we, we, we've already won, right? Like, you, you see Tiger Empress, you see Hugos. Like, we're, we got this in the bag. All I ask, have you ever heard of the Shinway Island tea? They shake their heads, like, in unison. No, all right. So, what we need, we need the blood of a Mopey Bane. Okay? Ayo, Just what? a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Only, this is only going to make up 2% of the drink, but it's going to give you strength. It's going to invigorate you. Now, what we need after that, we need some lavender tea. It's going to go good with it. It's going to mask that, that metallic taste of the Mopey Band blood. Next, we're going to need a crap ton of vodka. We're going to mix it together, shake it up real good. And when they take a sip, it's going to be like they, they're experiencing something that only the Shinsu gods can give them. Can you guys make that for me? Yes, sir. All right, the last step of this, and I can't promise you how important of it is, it's lightly light it ablaze. Just the tip. They nod. And they get to work. I already did the rolls. You look over at Shion, who looks like she's already realizing she's going to lose, but it's sort of like because she has no pressure on her, she starts trying something. She starts taking the mugs and, like, sliding them down the table with her left arm, like, towards the uh, customers, kind of, like, making them stop right before it hits them. And there's even a moment where she starts to balance the uh, mug of beer, like, on her foot. She's, like, balancing on the tip of her foot, and people are like, whoa, and they start, like, clapping for her. And then, okay, <laughs> sorry. I let a little bit of my excitement out there. I apologize. Um, she starts, like, f flipping the, uh, the the glass, like, onto the tables in front of them, onto the bars. And she's doing it flawlessly. She's, like, bouncing it, flipping it, bouncing it, flipping it, all with her feet. It's almost like she's juggling the, uh, the bottles. And everyone's like, where'd this come from? And you can tell she's just like, whatever. I, this game's already over. Hugo, meanwhile, after receiving more advice from his employees has gone over and is now, like, listening to the girls at his table talk, and he's just, like, sitting there. He's a genius. <laughs> he's just, like, sitting there. He's not even working. Like, he's just, like, listening to them talk. And that's about it. Your drinks are served, Brack, and they are done exactly as you ordered. One issue is that maybe a third of the uh, of the mugs don't light when they were supposed to. So there's a cup, there's like a little bit of like a, mm, didn't quit as, it didn't hit quite as hard as you wanted, but the two thirds that did, it looked awesome. Ladies and gentlemen of our fine establishment who, who've come to gather and partake in libations and to, let, let's be honest, get messed up. Like, you over there, I, I see you make, uh, make, make, make Frenchie over there, I see you. Now, what we can do now is, for those of you who are willing to put in a good word with our fellow administrator of this particular test, we have three drinks. Brack sees the one that's messed up. He, pull, he pulls it back behind the bar. Two drinks that we're willing to give out for free to the first two people that come and get it. F free drinks? What, what kind of drinks? I call it the Shinsu Island Tea. Shinway Island Tea, I butchered it. <laughs> Shinway Island, they, they seem to be intrigued and they, they start handing it out. The fire is going decently well. And before long, time! And all the uh, content, you know, all the patrons are counted in the various areas. We have a winner. In last place, Tiger Empress with 24% of the patrons. In second place, Hugo's with 35% of the patrons. 
And in first place, Drinkers of the Wave with 41% of patrons! And everyone starts cheering in your area and start like swinging their drinks around and Wait, cheering. Can we get a can we get a gender based breakdown for something? <laughs> <laughs> we already know. It, 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 it says you. The clientele at Hugo's is surprisingly it's, it's one as, way. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. I don't know about that. It's kind of interesting. Come on now. That's the, crazy. If you if you're going by demographics, it's pretty much uh, <laughs> there's a there's a strong ma male demographic at the Defenders of the Wave. Um, but there also is a slight male demographic towards the Tiger Empress and like 90% uh, f females at the, uh, at Hugo's. So there you go. Love to see it. Who is Love the real one here? Bro, if yeah. this wasn't all like Loki and Damien's head, Hugo be cooking, bro. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you start to gather together. All right. I'm not here to dish out rewards or punishments. You can just go back to where you met up for the puppet shows earlier. You'll be given your punishments then. Oh. So, so, so you're not gonna give me my reward, okay. Your reward- Well, it was nice meeting you, Barkeep. No, 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 your reward is pretty clear. The way you handled the bar, I can learn a thing or two. If you ever come back here, this place will be called Defenders of the Wave, and we'll sell your drinks in honor of you. Defenders of the who? Drinks, I, oh my God, I, he said drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> Slip of the tongue. I don't know why I said that. You know, there's no reason at all. <laughs> We're gonna, you'll see drinkers of the wave and all the news boards around the tower. He's just gonna cut right into my market share, huh? Okay. All right. Syndicate needs to trademark that name. <laughs> Excellent. Meanwhile, over in the arena characters have been created what you guys realized was these puppets similar to how your emotions are able to draw forth the movements of the strings and the limbs similarly uh as you started to picture what you wanted your fighter to look like you know, as if you're playing your game and you're like, oh man, I really wish this character was in. It started to slowly, the puppet started to take form of your of what you had in mind. Woo! What does your puppet look like? My puppet is extremely tiny. If you play Final Fantasy and you know what a tone berry is, it looks exactly like that, but with long white hair and sunglasses on. <laughs> it's got a blade in the right hand and a bell in the left hand. And he's wearing a little baby Yoda cloak. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. So, Eden, oh, you... Wait. Oh, his name is Tony Karma. <laughs> Tony <laughs> Karma. Yeah. Tony Karma enters the ring. All right, perfect. <laughs> uh, you look over at Duke's creation and imagine Duke, but like a JoJo character, just like jacked out of his mind. <laughs> just like absolutely jacked out of his mind. There you go. That's his creation. <laughs> we need to hear some mudas. We need to. <laughs> All right. Artists, get on that. <laughs> Eden, what have you created? So you see Eden's puppet, and it's a light brown Feel hair. Yeah. What? No, you're exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Light brown hair. It's a man. Uh, long white coat, black scarf, and very formal clothing, has glasses, and is holding a book. You see the name oh. Gustang pop, oh. pop up above it. Fantastic. Duke doesn't seem to care. He's just like very much looking at his own creation with pride. <laughs> that sounds about right. Fantastic. <laughs> You will now use your fighters to duel with a training dummy before the real match. And there's another puppet that spawns in and it looks like just, you know, a gray figure with like a sword and a shield. Very, 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 very basic. You'll begin the match in three, two, one. We're gonna start with you, Wu. What do you, what does the Tom Berry do? 
Sorry, Tony Boy, Karma. I, I don't know why I call yeah, him. Yeah, just call him Tony. <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony, all right. What does Tony do? My boy Tony just kind of shivers in place. Doesn't move. Mm. Just kind of shivers. Sure. The training dummy starts going in for a sword attack. Uh, Let's go ahead and make a deck save. Try. Try, he's gonna try and use uh, his bell. Oh, okay. Perfect timing. So, as you think of it, it happens. What do you want to happen with this bell? I want it to disrupt the, equi the equilibrium of the puppet that's approaching me. Okay, perfect. You start to ring the bell. Go ahead and describe it for me briefly. So, while Pony is shivering, the bell just starts to kind of passively vibrate in his head. Mm. And as it does, as the knight is charging Tony, team kind of wobble as blood drips from the armor mm -hmm. next to his ears. Got it. And the training dummy kind of like stops. There's blood coming from like, there's not even ear pores, but if there were, they'd be dripping down the face. And it seems to be now the knight dropped the sword and shield and is clutching its head. But then it picks up the sword again and goes in for an attack. I'm assuming you want Tony Karma to dodge. Uh, that would be ideal. So here's how this is going to work. When I say something, you say something back. And that's what's, okay. that's how it's going to work. Just trust me on okay. this. The training dummy goes in for a slash. Was that you saying something? <laughs> it sure was. I did say something. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just, I, just, I, was, I, was, I was just making sure. Yep. Okay. Tony dodges to the left. Okay, you want to add something? Um, while shivering. The training dummy goes in for a shield bash. Tony jumps over his head while shivering. While Tony jumps over his head, the training dummy slashes with his sword. Tony smiles and bites on the, down on the blade. Oh, the, you know, it's kind of like, uh, if there was a crowd, a couple of the assistants are like, oh, oh, they're kind of like muttering amongst themselves. Then what? Tony extends his right arm and it wraps around the knight's neck. <laughs> the knight starts grabbing for its neck. Tony falls at the ground behind the knight and vaults him over his head. The knight lands onto the ground, but as the knight la jumps into the air, the knight grabs its shield and uses it to break its landing. Tony looks at the shield. Tony likes shields. <laughs> Tony grabs the shield. The, the dummy tries to take the shield back from you. Okay, so now, with zero modifiers, make a strength save. Okay, no. 16? Right. Tony takes the shield back. Continue. While shivering, Tony starts bashing the shield into the knight's face. <laughs> the knight blood starts flying everywhere. This seems to be a pretty brutal game. And in one last ditch effort, the knight uses a super move, grabbing for its sword and doing a flurry of blows towards Tony. Tony shivers enough to ring the bell at his own ear. What happens? Tony collapses right beneath the knight's blows at his feet. The knight looks down, surprised, and starts to step away. Tony uses his right arm to wrap around the knight's right foot. The knight tries to slash down. Tony reels himself into where the arm is, so he's behind the knight at his right angle. And then? Tony uses the knife to slash the knight's right ankle. The knight falls to its knees. Tony smiles while shivering and looks the knight in his eye. The knight looks terrified, even though it doesn't have eyes. <laughs> Tony says, <laughs> Just trust me. it's all over now. And stabs the knight multiple times in the stomach in a shanking motion. The knight is eviscerated and falls to the ground. KO! Bravo! Woo, bravo! You handled your fighter with ease. It seems your imagination knows no bounds. Very good. Eden, the fight will now begin with your creation. And the puppet doesn't seem to uh, read out the name of your fighter. With your fighter. Oh. 
begin. It's the same opponent, a training dummy with a sword and shield. Okay. Uh, what does Gustang do? Gustang is going to open the book and say explosion aimed at the other target. The target the, the raises dummy. their shield. So can it shoot fire? <laughs> Describe it. Just what happens. Okay. So you see like these little pinpoints of light light up around him and then just all of a sudden just shoot in this giant explosion at the knight and it's just this big ball of fire. The knight, as soon as the ball of fire dissipates, the knight falls to the ground, smoke rising from its entire body, struggling to its feet and then charges at you with the sword. Uh, Gustang will just dodge just toying with the other dummy. Another slash. Dodge. Another slash. Dodge. A shield attack. You see, uh, so in the shield attack, you see you see the book come up, and there's like a wall of like Shinsu that prevents it from coming through, and you see in the process of that, he's lit a cigarette, and while the pages of the book are are, are flying through the air as he slides back. You see from behind the wall of force and behind the other dummy, you see a giant like orb, like a Shinsu orb that's just completely, um, it's, it's bright orange, it's bright hot. Uh, you can see flames on the inside of it. It's like the flames are trying to get out of the orb. And he says, disintegrate. And as he does that, the orb just goes off from behind the uh, dummy. Disintegrate taken literally because as the flames settle, there's nothing left of the dummy. Cool. Bravo. I see your character is quite overpowered. That will be interesting when we pit these characters against each other. If I could have all three Eden. players, please gather. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, like, Eden's eyes, like, they're kind of, like, glazed over mm -hmm. and they're just flickering red. She does, She just doesn't even hear what he says. Duke Wait, wanders did, over. Did, did, did the Duke beat his training dummy? He, yeah, we gotta know what Duke did. <laughs> you guys didn't see it. You were too busy with your own matches. Boo. That means he lost. Yeah, yeah, we could just <laughs> pop that up right now. Yeah. Duke wanders over. <laughs> Guess we're ready for the big deal, huh? Are, are, are we? You won? Of course I did. It's pretty simple, really. All you gotta do is say what you want it to do in your mind, and it happens. You know, it makes me think, how is this game even gonna be fair? So you didn't see either of our puppets fight, is what you're saying. Mm, why would I? I like you, dude. I'm gonna stand over there now. There's like a big table in the middle of the three of you are, are uh, beckoned to gather around. This will be a 1v1v1 match. Three player free for all. Oh. Anything, and I mean anything, goes. Fighters at the ready. You can choose left, middle, or right. Shout one out. Right. Middle. Duke takes left. Pew, pew, pew. Let the ma and now the three fighters are there. All of you can see your fighters lined up. Let the match begin. And immediately Duke's character throws a punch and the punch flies towards Gustang. Uh, the, the wall comes up again, the Shinsu wall comes up again to, to block the punch and he like rolls to the middle of the arena to get like a better, uh, perspective of both the fighters and lets out from both of his hands, like two cones of fire, um, trying to incinerate both of them. Woo. Uh, Tony... 
uses his right hand to spring into the air above the pillar of fire. Okay. Duke's character just blocks it with his arm. Well, 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 this certainly is a fun match, but we're going to now spice things up a bit. Because if you were truly our puppet masters, and if you truly did learn from your play, you will be bringing your performance into the work. Eden, your turn. Okay, so we've got <laughs> we got Tony in the air. Yes. We have Duke jo- ju- uh, uh, Duke, Duke, aka Duke, Duke. JoJo. Duke, Duke. <laughs> um, he's so he would be to the right. Uh, Tony's to the left. Um, you're gonna see Puppet Gusting uh, whip around again, and this time you're gonna see two uh, uh, large orbs appear again from above. And uh, they start raining fire down okay. onto both the puppets in like a, a, a giant radius that's like would be difficult to get out of. Fire rains down. Woo. Tony doesn't like altercations. Tony's scared. And Tony immediately just drops like a rock out of the sky to the ground. And when he drops on the ground, there's a cloud of debris that surrounds him. So you can't really see where the fire is landing around Tony. Duke's character pulls back both arms and just starts punching like a flurry of blows and the punches start flying all around the arena. No, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Go ahead. You have the shirt. You have the shirt. (laughs) Eden, quick description of what happens. So, so, uh, uh, Duke Duke came at Gustang. Punches are flying everywhere around the arena. Including towards Gustang. Even towards Gustang. Uh, Okay, Gustang looks at Duke Duke um, and says, uh, implosion, and like sticks his hand out mm-hmm. and like is basically trying to crush mm-hmm. the, the uh, Duke Duke um, uh, puppet. Perfect, woo. So like a gravity type of compression type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony. Yeah. You see a uh, hand underneath Duke Duke's right leg as Tony reels himself in up along Duke Duke's back. He rings the bell with his left hand in Duke Duke's ear. Duke Duke screams in pain, but then a smile appears on his face, just as it appears on the real Duke's face. The tower. And suddenly both of your characters like freeze in motion. (laughs) Are we getting a time stop? And Duke Duke's character starts whacking towards both of you. Punch, 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 punch. Time on freezes. Gustang. Uh, Gustang shoots a hand out and like flies forward towards Duke Duke and grabs him by the face and says, just deadpan, useless, and crushes like. Tries to crush tries the head to crush. of the puppet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tony. Tony starts laughing while shivering, and you see the cloak that he was wearing kind of fold out, and you see multiple little Tony heads pop up on his shoulders that they kind of split off of him and surround Duke Duke, all holding knives and all holding bells in their right and left hand. <laughs> Duke says, How the fuck is this fair? Like real Duke. <laughs> Duh. And then the the Duke's character tries his best to resist the attack from Gustang. There's a huge explosion, Mm -hmm. and it seems as though the character lived but is battered. Okay. Um, And then the character, like, goes in for your leg and grabs Gustang's leg. Gustang. Uh, Once again, Gustang will just look down and, like, with his other, with the other foot, um, just says useless and just stamps on that arm, mm-hmm. um, attempting to break it off okay. the puppet. Yeah, Tony. Useless Duke Duke, sacrifice yourself with me. <laughs> and you see all of the, the Tony start to glow. They all start to glow? Okay. They all start to glow. There's, I want to say, like, probably 
Maybe like 10 to 15 of them around his body right at this point. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. They just start swarming him. Okay. I, each of you, final attack. The final stated attack. And I'll start with Duke. So, okay. As they swarm Duke. Duke attempts... No, 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 no. no. He, he, they're not swarming. So while right. while Gustang is hitting him, they're on his body. They've been on his body this whole time. They're oh, so they're just attached to it. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, okay, I see. Yeah. While trying to punch them away... Duke then shoots out strings all over his body, attempting to, like, jam the puppet strings into the puppets, into the opposing puppets. Gustang. Gustang sees all of the interconnected strings to Tony and to Duke Duke and says, cease your wailing. And as he says that, all of the strings light up bright red hot and sends explosions down each one f up, uh, from him mm -hmm. to not obviously get caught in the blast, but to end both of them completely. Tony. When that happens, Tony, all the Tony simultaneously just explode, dude, and the radius is pretty big. Okay. This is a massive explosion, but it's unclear the state of the battle because that's when it says, TIME! And the assistants start clapping. Okay, that was some bullshit. I don't know what the hell was going on there, but I thought that tag teaming wasn't allowed in this game. Someone someone get after the devs or say this is some bullshit. All right. Right, because it's just stopping time. 1v1, no, just 1v1 next time. All right? <laughs> this is just, this, this makes no sense. He like looks at the assistant like, like he's telling the truth. Like, come on, even you know, come on. And you just see Eden on the other side just kind of playing with the puppet strings mm -hmm. of the, the the gusting and she's just like like you can see like there's a, some sick satisfaction on her face and she's just kind of laughing to herself I want to point out too that despite what happened over there you can see the original Tony lying on the floor like a rock from where he fell from the sky in the beginning shivering mm -hmm. that was a phenomenal display of imagination. Do any of you understand why we performed this game today? <laughs> John's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a movie, I don't freaking know. <laughs> I mean, it was dope, don't get me wrong. Don't besmirch the legacy of Frog Tar. And Frog Frog Yard, no, 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 okay. no, my shit, my shit was fire. I love the movie. Was great. I, I don't know why the hell y'all had to go do whatever you were doing. <laughs> Do you know understand why? I don't care, it felt good. It, it felt, felt really good. <laughs> Even the person is like, okay. <laughs> Very interesting. There seems to be a few themes which each of your characters and each of their fights that I found quite interesting. You may head back to the center of the carnival. Do I get to keep it? Of course. Fantastic. And you see the flames lick up her own arms, and she incinerates the puppet with it right then and there. And while, while you see and, that. And she just turns and leaves. <laughs> Wu is just kind of holding Tony and like looking at that. He's like... <laughs> We're not doing that to you, buddy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so I start petting the puppet. <laughs> you start to make your way back, and as the three groups start to reemerge, the manager is there again. Very well done. It is time to dish out your punishments. But meanwhile, Damien, we're going to cut back to you. Oh! Let's go, let's go! I'm back, baby. <laughs> Put me in, coach. I'm ready. <laughs> Set the scene for me. You are currently face to face in front of your front yard door, right? You're face to face with father. He looks exactly the same, but he seems to be wearing like a nice black top hat as well. And like a pocket watch is in his hand. 
his regular <laughs> attire with a top Yeah, hat. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dressed to impress, I believe is what they say. Yes, I believe you are correct in that. Nice hat, sir. Why, thank you. I'm assuming you're waiting for her. Because she'll be out in a moment. She's just saying hi to your parents. Ah, uh, then we should go inside. One moment, and he puts a hand on your shoulder. You feel all right, son? Yes. Yes, I feel... I feel all right. I just have to see what's inside. <laughs> After you. And he, like, motions his arm towards the door. And I open the door. Someone flies into your arms. But the feeling that you get isn't cold. It's warm. And you see Flux Falk, her hair in your face, as her warm touch envelops you. Oh. I hug her back. She pulls away. How long has it been? Must be seven years now. She kind of like, does it... It wasn't that long. Right. It hasn't, has it? Especially since we keep in touch a lot. And she hugs you again. That's so hard. Yes. Well, I'm glad you're here. Hm. You've met my parents already. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? They're super nice! And she turns back, and she's not wearing her normal, like, the, the outfit you see on screen. She's wearing, like, a nice, uh, a nice skirt and a t-shirt. Something that maybe an ordinary girl would wear. Uh, and turning back to the parents, she certainly is funny, Kind says, and starts laughing. She's a nice girl. <laughs> Damien. So then you two approve, then. I didn't say that. And then Kind starts laughing again. <laughs> uh, I shall do my best to to please you, Mrs. Frog. <laughs> You don't have to try that hard. But this is your mom. It's really important. I'm sure they would rather you just be yourself. <laughs> I can do that. And her eyes, like, flicker red. <laughs> just look at the camera. Her eyes wide. <laughs> <laughs> Tear Seth walks in behind you. I'm actually rather hungry. But we do not wish to intrude upon your hospitality. Perhaps before we say grace, would you perchance like to listen to a song? When he brings out his sittern, and he starts strumming it. And both of your parents are like looking at you, like, what the heck? Is going on. Just, I just have my, my hand over my face like I don't know anyone. <laughs> the Frog Family. Oh no, he has a song. The for Frogs us. of Lore of Gone of Legend Lost. The Frog Family. And he starts like singing this song about the Frog Family. Mm hmm. Of ancient yep, is... past. Do, 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 do. <sighs> and you're... Uh, is this when we clap, Damien? Excellent song, sir. Well done. Thank you. I admit that one was a bit more rushed than I had planned before. Improvisation has always been one of your strong suits. I appreciate that, Damien. I think you're one of the only people who think that of me. So feel free to say that whenever you like. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> uh, well, Sorry. it is now time to eat. Please, everyone, have a seat. Oh, Damien, where's your friend? Is she not staying for dinner? No. She had something else to do. Besides, this was more important. Hmm. Well... Hopefully she's doing okay. I'm sure she'll pop up again sometime. 
Hold on, you had a friend over? Who was this friend, Damien? Oh, oh, oh no! It was Mila. She was just dropping by to tell me something. It was Mila? Okay, I guess it could have been worse. Fair enough. You have been friends since you were kids. <laughs> she smirks. What's for dinner? DVDs? Which one? Perhaps the chocolate DVDs. frogs this time. No offense, Face Felger. And, uh... Chocolate frogs in this household. <laughs> your mother... Is, is cruel. <laughs> your... <laughs> <laughs> your mom makes a makes a really nice spaghetti and you and you in the way she kind of like organized the noodles is that it, it's in the shape of a little frog face and she serves everybody some spaghetti here you are i admit not the most creative dish but i hope it'll do this looks absolutely amazing thank you so much so dominic i've heard a few things about you i hear that you used to work for jihad's army <laughs> i did indeed but that was a long time ago. I'm just a family man now. Hmm. I see. May I ask what your role was in the army? Um, and Dominic looks around the table. We don't especially talk about those times here. We prefer to focus on the happier times. Isn't that right, Kain? Oh, well, <laughs> when you put it that way... It's just that those were hard times, but now that we have this new home and this beautiful location, we prefer to focus on the present. Oh, I understand completely. The present, after all, is the most important time of our lives, is it not? The present is when you can make change, real change. Past actions are lost, future actions are imaginary. And he like flickers his eyes towards you, Damien. But the present, well, it's real. Damien is just kind of looking down into his glass of his tea, thinking. Present is important. We mustn't waste the time we have now then then with thinking about the future. But it's best to enjoy the time that we have now. But wouldn't you say the future is real? If you're in a really tough spot. Let's say you've, you're feeling miserable. Wouldn't you say the future is what can save you from that? Even if it doesn't exist, Father, I know. No, no, it's an interesting point you bring up. It begs the question, what is real? If the future truly can help the present, that makes it pretty tangible, don't you think? But on that note, says Dominic, wouldn't the past also be tangible? Because it can also impact the present. Hm. Touche. But only if you let it and allow it to. Damien, I know you're not exactly a philosopher, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. past is in the past. One should not stick there for comfort. The ones that you can help are here and now. All those who are gone are gone. I... I don't know what to do. What point is there in a future? 
where it's just more pain and more, more death and loss. Damien, are you okay, honey? I, I need a moment. What does Damien do? He excuses himself from the table. Then he walks out the door. The light is still outside, but you can tell it's getting a little chillier. The sun is starting to set. The wind hits you. Just as it did when Mila disappeared. This is a cruel world. And this... What is even the point of it all? If I reach the top of the tower, then it will never be as good as this. What is even, what is even real at this point? The mirror, it must have brought forth my greatest hopes and dreams. My old hopes and dreams that I... I thought I came to terms with, but... <sighs> what is the point of living? What is my answer to the question? this is as good as it gets, then I... I should stay. Would the others even understand that? I should speak to the others. And when you think that, it's not, like, literal, but you get this feeling that if you wanted to speak to them, you could. I see... I suppose that this world is the manifestation of my hopes and dreams. I could do whatever I want here. Conjure whatever I want. Make or unmake. Truly a world full of dreams. Damien? Take me to Team Recall. Huh? And you turn around, and just as you start to head towards them, you start to vanish. You see Flux, with a concerned look on her face, exit the door, and you get warped away. But she's the last thing you see. All right, we're going to take our break there. So enjoy the memes. Enjoy the fan art. We'll see you all very shortly. And oh boy. Uh, we'll be back with some more Towers of Gods. Don't go anywhere. Oh boy. Enjoy these memes and fan art. They were really good this week as they always are. Actually, yeah, and I'm going to switch it out because it's the last week one. But don't worry about it. See you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.
I'm going to kill you and then kill you again. <laughs>
I'm going to kill you and then kill you again. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. I'm so sorry there wasn't any music. That was my bad. I processed the meme reel with the music muted. It's all good though because the, the good content was there. The memes and the art, you got to enjoy it either way and you could always play your own music in the background. I don't know. Have fun with it. But regardless, thank you guys so much for the memes and the art. If you want to submit your own, join the link down below and uh, yeah, leave a like if you're enjoying this episode of Towers and Gods and let's hop back into it ha ha team recall you've all now regathered back in the center of the carnival or the center of the surrounding area um the stage where you all performed your puppet show and that's where we're gonna pick up you're all you see you see each, each of the groups wandering back towards the middle all of you look exactly as you did very similar at least uh from when you left that area as well Nah, but who has Tony on his head? <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. There, that is an important detail. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Also, Eden, you probably look a little different. You want to describe that? Oh, she just looks a little... She looks a little deranged. Deranged? Just, just, a, just, just a little a, deranged. Just a little, a little deranged. touch of, <laughs> just, just a little... A little... <laughs> something's off. Okay. Something's off. Okay. Well, that sounds great. Mm-hmm. Everyone regathers in the middle. Shion runs over to you, Jong. Hey, how was the movie? Did you have to do anything crazy? Were you a part of the movie? Did you have to like act out a character? No, actually, it wasn't really that bad. The worst thing was, and he like he motions his head over to Hans. <laughs> that dude's kind of annoying. But other than that, I wasn't that bad. She like looks over at him. Nah, you mean Ryobe? You mean Ryobe? <laughs> Come oh, on. Wait, who is the one? Hans Above is the one that's blind. Hans is the one that's blind. Oh, no, 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 no. I, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, right. <laughs> you know what? That's in character. That's in character. That's in character. We keep it. We keep that for sure. She, like, looks over at Hans like, he doesn't have any eyes, John. I feel like we got to cut him a little bit of slack. Ugh. Oh, man. Um. So the, group's, the group re-centers in the middle. And then the theater manager shows up. The manager, as he calls himself. Welcome back, everyone. Now is the time to announce if punishments are due. I will say, the performances this time were a lot better than before. May the four individuals who watched the film please step forward. Uh, I asked the vote. Uh, Ryobe reluctantly, like, helps Hans forward as well. How did you enjoy the film? Ryobe says, it was a master class in how to film a movie. I mean, the cinematography and the acting, who is the casting director, may I ask? Um, because the casting director was 
the, the actors were on point. I don't know how they cast those frogs so well. It was really good stuff. Jong just whispers under his breath, kiss ass. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. I, I do have a question for each of you individually. And so I'm going to uh, hand you a piece of paper. He hands you a piece of paper. I just simply want to make sure that you saw the film. It's really no problem at all. Uh, this really shouldn't even matter whatsoever. And here is my question. It's multi. It's like uh, there's four answers and you gotta pick one of them. Oh, thank God. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right, what is this shit? What is it? What was the name of the main antagonist of the film? I put it in chat. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hans and Ryobe are trying to figure, you know, they're trying to write something down. Lonnie writes something down. I'll read it out loud in case people watching want to know. The options are Frogson, Froginson, Frogtar, or Fraga. What is Can't Jung? look at Chad Isaiah. <laughs> what does Jong put down? Oh, well, oh, so I don't know. How do you want me to answer? You want me to just send you a message or what? You can just say it out loud. What Jong, just say what Jong writes. Okay, he writes frogs then. <laughs> Collects the papers. Excellent. I'm very happy you all saw the film. Congratulations. No punishments will be issued to the people who saw the film. Oh, <laughs> I knew it was one of the sins, bro. And because there's two that's like frog sin and frog. What is the fuck? Frog, frog sin and frog and frog, sin. frog, frog sin. Like, sin. That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's not right. That's not right. You know I was half paying attention. You passed the test. You're right. fine. Chill. Hell yeah, gamer. Hell yeah. <laughs> Gamer's gonna game. Excellent. Those of you who ran the bar competition, we already know our winner. Drinkers of the Wave was the winning bar. Congratulations, Mr. Brack Bronson. I don't need your congratulations. My establishment piece speaks for itself. Right, MK? Oh, they're still back at the bar. <laughs> um, <laughs> you never said goodbye to them. You never thanked them. <laughs> Shoot. I'm, uh, the worst performing barkeep was, in fact, Jin Shion. She raises her only hand that she can. I have an argument to make. 24% is a lot. 24% of people came to my bar. You probably still made money off of my work, didn't you? You're punishing me because I did worse than these two? Hugo looks like he's out of a fantasy comic book where he'd be the, the barkeep, and Brack is is in charge of his own empire that runs across the entire tower and does business. I am... I'm a fighter. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a warrior. I, I don't know what you want me, want me to say, but the fact that I was able to get 24%... I rest my case. The theater manager kind of like strokes his chin. He beckons for an assistant to come forward. Like, I don't know where. You have no idea where this person came from. And they start whispering amongst each other. Jin Xion, what was your proudest accomplishment during your time as a barkeep? During my time as a... Um... TikTok, Missy. Um... We were able to make people happy. You will receive a warning, Jin Xion. Your imagination proved insufficient for today's task. With that said, you may have a chance in the future to dig yourself out of this hole. We will not punish you yet. I understand you've already lost a lot. He, like, <laughs> he beckons towards her missing arm. And so, just know you're on thin ice. And please, use your imagination more. Sure, okay. Thanks, I guess. Great! Glad we have that settled. Hugo, like, looks around as if, like, thank God I got second and not third. Like, I guess second place was good enough. 
Hugo like walks over to you, Brack. You were made for this kind of thing, huh? <clears throat> well, Big H, to tell you the truth, all you really got to do when you're running a business is just bullshit better than the rest of them. I mean, come on. Like, you really think that we were actually creating those drinks that I was saying? No, we were just giving them regular beer. <laughs> like, they were just dumb enough to believe it. But, uh, no, you, you, you got a knack for this. I seen you over there with the ladies. <laughs> He just like shakes his head. No, that's what they told me to do. Uh, no, 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 no. They told you right. You see, you see this? And then Brack's, Brack puts like a box around his face. That's your money maker. You give him a wink and a smile, you melt him. But if we're not serving them alcohol, then what's the point? Well, you're not just serving them alcohol. You know what else you're serving them? Don't say me. A dream. Oh my Because that's where we are, Hugo. In one big dream. I'm flipping this into the new Syndicate uh, teaser trailer. <laughs> we're, we're, we're yeah. <laughs> he just like shakes his head. You can tell he doesn't really want to talk about it. Fantastic! With that said, there was also the arena. I would like each of the fighters who participated in Stick Fighter to come forward. Please. Duke steps forward. Except, or Ian steps forward. Yeah. You see the who has Tony and Pigsy on his head, and there Pigsy is playing with with Tony. <laughs> nice, that's cute, cute. Stick Fighter was perhaps the most unique of the three free time events because in Stick Fighter, well, there really weren't any rules. We asked each of the fighters to conjure up their own characters and conjure up their own fights. Exactly. What, please, Duke. And the manager, like, all right. But I'm just saying that was not exactly what you promised us because Eden's character, uh, Aki's character, that's, <laughs> he does not speak Eden. Aki's character was a bit too overpowered. I think there needs to be a bit of balancing going forward in this game. Weren't you the one that was doing anything that your mind could conjure up, Duke? So what, if my mind conjured up they all die, you would all die? Why didn't you think it? Because I thought it would be against the rules of the game. I tried to be creative, isn't that the point of the damn thing? Moving on. Mr. Wu. We had a question about your character. Near the end of the fight, your character seemingly gave up. What was the meaning of that? Did you think that's what it looked like to you? The character gave up? Elaborate, please. That's not what I saw. I saw everything playing into that character's hands. All with the veil of him giving up. So you would consider your character a trickster? No. I consider him a coward. A coward? You had all the imagination in the world at your disposal, and yet... You created a cowardly character. Why? You said we could do whatever we wanted and that spoke to me. Hmm. If you can scrounge from the bottom and reach the top, if that effort isn't useless and you overcome it, That takes the most imagination, don't you think? To envision something you've never seen. Hmm. Very interesting. The Duke of Bones. We had questions. You had all the imagination in the world, and yet you created yourself. Why? Because I am peak imagination. 
If all the wonderful ladies in the tower could picture their perfect man, mix them all together, then that puppet is what you got. Besides, the puppet was able to perform beats of strength. <laughs> the puppet was able to perform feats of strength and skill, unlike any that has ever before been seen in the tower. I mean, stopping time? Come on. It's the book most overpowered ability there is. You're saying that's not imagination? Hmm. You truly think yourself to be the embodiment of perfection, then? Look, we're not all perfect. No one is. But if someone was, I mean, he smirks. <laughs> This dude. Eden! Hmm? Your character... I mean... Your character was a god. Why? Big imagination. Have a god puppeted by your own hands. Hmm. So what you're saying is... The character itself didn't require the imagination, but the art of controlling said character, because of the paradox of controlling a god, that there in and of itself required imagination. Mm-hmm. Could you elaborate? How could we in this great tower ever hope to control the gods? They rule over us. But... Today I got to switch the roles, and it felt wonderful. I think that takes imagination and arrogance to be able to control a god, even in your imagination. Hmm. Arrogance, you say? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Miss Eden. <laughs> Anytime. And it seems we have a guest. Um... And then, almost as if he was there the entire time, he just walks up to all of you without a care in the world. Damien Eric Frog walks into the clearing. Hey, guys. Uh, hello? The hell did you go? I went home. I what think I have there? a pretty good understanding of what needs to be done. What do you mean? I know how to purify my soul. Why do you sound so down about it? Well, it might be easy to show you. Would I be allowed to take these people with me? Of course, Mr. Damien Frog. After I ask you a simple question, the judges are having a hard time determining which of these three was the most imaginative. What would you say requires the fiercest imagination? Cowardice, perfection, or arrogance? Which speaks to you, Damien Frog? I... I think cowardice is what would speak to me more. You think cowardice requires imagination? The concept of cowardice being brought forth into reality? I believe that it takes a great understanding to create cowardice, to manifest it in a way to choose when there are so many options, that in itself, I feel I could understand. I see. 
Thank you for sharing your thoughts. The judges have determined which was the least imaginative. The least imaginative performer was you, the Duke of Bones. Right. Didn't see that one coming. Every game I've ever done in this godforsaken place is rigged all hell. Go on, explain why, and then take one of my fingers. It's quite simple. I'm so losing. You had the entire world at your disposal. Limitless possibilities. And yet you chose the idea of perfection. Yeah, doesn't that require imagination? It does not, Duke. Perfection is the height of all things. It is what we all seek in all that we do. It is perhaps one of the least imaginative traits that you could possess. Okay, can I at least make an argument about it? Because when you picture... Fuck it, give me my punishment. <laughs> Very good, Duke. Your punishment, one befitting someone such as yourself, You will lose that which gives you power. Give me power? What, you're gonna take my muscles? Go on, take my muscles. No. We'll be taking them. And suddenly, Hans and Ryobe vanish into pieces. You just got the tower's greatest tailor taken away due to your own hubris. <gasps> No, your heart does not deserve this, bro. Bye, Ryobi. <laughs> <laughs> that switch. Damn, bro. I mean, he's right, but damn. That's fucked. And it's all the Duke's fault. Let's not forget that. You took my men. Here, <laughs> I thought you would take something like my hand. Fine. I accept that punishment. Very good. Yeah. Because I'm going to get him that back. That doesn't bother you? No, 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 no. I'm going to get him back. If they had taken my arm or my leg, it would have been a lot easier to leave this place. But don't get me wrong, I'm still the Duke of Bones. And they're in my gang. I'm getting them back. But I'll play their game for now. I see. I think I understand you a little bit better. Yeah, I would say that Wu is pretty content with that answer. Well, at least I'm not crying over here like someone. Well, I guess he's gone. He <laughs> would have motioned over to Hans. All right, let's continue this game. Mr. Frog, you wish to take your companion somewhere? Yes. And I would. The man bows. They are at your disposal. And As I said before, there is something I would like to show you all. That which makes purification that much more difficult. All of us, said Lonnie. Of course. You are all here trapped in my purification. You have every right to be there, and not, if you so desire. I won't force anyone to come, but, well, the choice is ultimately yours. You, you see, or Damien sees Eden, like, she's looking at the place where, like, Hans and Ryobe were, and, like, her eyes are a little bit glazed over. Hey, whatever you need to, to get everybody back, right? Get everybody out of here? Get yourself purified. 
If this will help you, Damien, we'll do it. Well then, grab on to me. I would like to go home, but discreetly. Shion reaches forward, touches Damien. Aiden will do the same. Yep. Who's there? Hugo's there. Jong's there. Rack turns around to the masked person and asks, where's my prize? Don't worry. Your imagination will bear fruit when you return. That means you ain't getting shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to break the, the metal. Here, <laughs> I know it sells me when I hear one. <laughs> Brock turns towards a uh, frog. I hate your imagination. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, the only one who hasn't is Lonnie and Duke. <sighs> Go on, String Bean. I'll do it if you do. Oh, and that's my name now, is it? Sure, I guess. Lonnie touches you, Damien. All right. And then Duke reaches out as well. <laughs> when the Duke touches me, I think the pills where he goes. <laughs> No, you don't. No. I do not. Okay, good. I was gonna say I am I'll I'll boot you from this call. <laughs> I haven't made any high jinks today. Not yet. Not We've got time, oh, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Now what, Damien? Take me home. Country, Take me home. Country roads. Sorry, I, 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 everyone yeah. was thinking it. I had to say someone. Had I was to in my. Yeah, we were all thinking it. That's where your brain goes. There's nowhere yeah, else to yeah, go. Yeah, someone had to break the ice there. Um, it's like you all got sucked into a portal and you're flying through this realm. Before, in just a split second, you arrive. Where do they arrive, Damien? Ah, they arrive at the park that I was talking to Mila at at one point. The park outside your home. The mm -hmm. little swings and such. Mm -hmm. You all see a beautiful green pasture, a log cabin close by. No other intrusions or imperfections, birds flying, gardens, everything that Damien had seen. Damien, this is your house? Yes. This is my desire, my hopes, my dreams, and my fears. All in one. It is far beyond what I possibly could have imagined, though I manifested it, so I, of course, imagined it. But this, in its purest form, is my desire. And over there is my home. Inside are my mother and father. And a uh, flux folk. It was flux folk. Long story, she's great anyways. <laughs> that was a super TLDR. <laughs> <laughs> With those spark notes, spark notes, bro. <laughs> you had to be there. She's kind of cool. She's a warm. Anyway. I was just going to look at the clip. He's he, he, he saying something right now, but I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> this world it's far beyond what I possibly could have dreamed. If 
if I had wrote down what my desire was, I could not even begin to replicate this. I would take you inside, but, well, I'm not entirely sure how it would go over. Hold on a second. You're not entertaining this, are you? Well, let me ask you this. This world, it's pretty good for me. But how do you feel about it? You're always cutting to the heart of the matter, aren't you? Well, I always respected that about you. You know the answer. It's a cage. You're complacent enough to be entertained with the baubles they give you inside of it. better though it's You're an terrible. illusion it's a farce this isn't real the mirror is showing you something to keep you here so and I know how much you the trick then hmm? that my hopes what I conjured is, is just a fabrication because you said if your mother and father are in there, then you know it's not real. You know what? The Damien that I know, if his real mother and father were in there, he wouldn't hesitate to introduce us to him. You're asking this because you already know the answer. I would have trouble introducing all of you. Perhaps if it was a small group at a time, I could. Would you like to meet them, Will? Perhaps then you would all see that what is in front of us is not just any mere fab fabrication. Sure, for all. Why not? I see. Thank you for entertaining the idea, Brack. I will introduce you all, and then I would like to speak to a few of you individually. If that is okay. Lonnie steps forward. This place. You created this. I did. It's beautiful. It is my deepest desire. But come. Let us go see what is going on. I uh, must warn you, though. You will see some people that you are already familiar with. Flux Bulk, and of course, well, to yourself as well. It is not the Tearseth that we know outside the tower, but, well, a manifestation created from my memory of him. He may not be able to answer the questions since I do not know the answers that he would give. We're not here for him. We're here for you. Well, let's not beat around the bush then. Do you lead everyone and inside? or? I, I, I knock on the door. The door is flung open. You all see kind frog in the doorway. 
Damien. And she wraps her arms around you. Oh, honey, where'd you go? We were so worried about you. I'm sorry for leaving so abruptly, mother. No, 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 it's okay. And she, like, pulls away and just looks you up and down. You're not hurt, are you? No. Hmm, I'm, are you sure? It is a fiddle. You I see... promise I'm okay. Fluxfalk and her father are out looking for you, but I'm sure they'll be back soon. I'm sure it would be okay to call them back. Of course. I'm it... safe and sound. I'll shoot them a text right away. You have no. other friends? Yes, mother. This will take a while to introduce you all, but everyone, this is my mother. Hello. Kind frog here. Uh, what are your wonderful names? If you're friends of Damien, then you must already be familiar with how we are in this household. Feel free to introduce yourself. Hi there, Mrs. Frog. Nice to meet you. Double B here. You know, just a uh, proud entrepreneur slash uh, mogul, you know, owner of Syndicate and Syndicate Incorporated. Oh, a businessman. Very, very nice. I'm sure yeah, you and Dominic it. will have a lot to talk about. Oh, oh, me and who? Dominic, we have... I'm so sorry. We have company, Dominic. And the... Like it's like, I'm not qualified to talk about business <laughs> with anyone. Let me just <laughs> Damien's father walks behind Kine. Oh, hello. It's good to meet you all. I hope we have enough room for everyone. Father, these are my friends. Greetings. I hope this isn't on too much of short notice, but... Oh, not well, at all. They just had to see you. I'm afraid you did just miss dinner, but aside from that, you're more than welcome to enter. Hmm. Damien's told us a lot about you. Hopefully all good things. Please, come in, come in. Kind leads you all in. Dominic is exaggerating when he says that. We just knew Damien had friends. Uh, please find a seat. And you can see there's lots of couches and chairs. Plenty of space inside to take a seat by the fireplace. And you can tell that the fire was just lit. Is there a lazy boy in the room? Oh, for sure. A big one? Oh, yeah. Like, it looks comfortable? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Brack calls dibs. Jumps in it. I see you like Dominic's chair, Mr. Brack. Oh, 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 is this the head? No, 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 I, I really don't mind at all. I simply find it pretty cozy. Oh, no, 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 I can't be taking the head's chair. No, well, please. Why don't you go ahead, plop yourself down, get comfortable. It really uh, is fine. I don't mind sitting anywhere. In fact, you are our guest, so I insist. You are polite. Little Frog, you could learn some manners from me. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, dang! <laughs> <laughs> you all also so Brack you feel something on your shoulder as Hreisvelger jumps up to you Big Boss you're back Hreisvelger cocks his head at you as if trying to learn who you are oh. uh yes well this is Hreisvelger that you are already familiar with but this is the original Hreisvelger from before you met him. Not the one on the second floor? I am afraid not. There was an incident one time, and well... I had lost a Heisvelger once before. This is a Heisvelger before that one. A dear childhood friend of mine. I hope that you will treat him with the same... Respect as the other Hreisvelger. Brack goes to pet Hreis on the head with his uh, pinky. Hreis just like closes his eyes, enjoying the uh, the attention. Yeah. Seems like seems like big boss to me. Can I get you all something to drink? Uh, yes, I will have uh, a strawberry water mm -hmm. with a slice of lime on the side. Strawberry water, Damien, one of your favorites. I'll be right back. 
actually does have strawberry water here, right? Cool it, is, it is the an actualization of the 20th floor, 21st floor. Okay, okay, okay. Actualize perception or insight? Kine? Sorry, what will? We, oh, can I roll perception? Oh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, of course. What are you trying to do? Uh, that is a 14 plus. I am trying to discern whether Wu perceives. Hold on. Uh, uh, perception, perception. So that is a 21 total. Right. I'm trying to see if Wu perceives any of this, like from his, like the way he looks at it. Is it real? Like, does he believe what Damien is saying? About this world, this world, like his world, the being... things that he sees, like mm -hmm. this race. Like, does he, just as a distilled example, does he look at that race and feel as though mm. that's an existing being? I see. So, you take a few long moments to really look around you. Look at Hrace, look at his parents, look at the house. The breeze that you felt outside, the touch of the couch as you sit down, Hrace as Hrace eventually hops over to you, the touch of Hrace. It is all as if you were outside of the mirror. There is no difference in your mind. Okay. Damien, you said it's an actualization of the 21st floor? Yes. What do you mean by that? I'm saying that this manifested from my own vision of what the 21st floor would be in a perfect world. Lonnie mutters, a perfect world. An actualization of what I desire, what I hope for, what I dream. Hmm. Little Frog, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but didn't one of your people penalize Dookie for creating perfection? I wouldn't exactly say that, that those are my people, but, well, I guess, in a sense, they are. Well, there are still rules which apply to the mirror. Those are still active. What kind of rules? But, you seem to know pretty well. Well, as far as I can guess, it works similar to how Jong's purification went. Seems pretty different to me. Stop calling it that. Lonnie says, isn't that what the mirror calls it? Yes. The mirror is not purifying anyone, Damien. I'm sorry if that's what you think is happening here. I don't really know what's happening here, but if I had to guess, I mean, a test, right? No. The mirror is... just showing you what's in front of you. And you have to decide where to go. You're not going to come out of this some perfect, altruistic person. Because that person doesn't exist. Hmm. There's just choices, Damien. It's all we are. Blue leader. You understand the choice that I have to make is a difficult one, though. Yeah, I do. And to be honest, if you want to stay here, I don't fault you for it. Whether this is real or not doesn't matter. But I believe I mentioned talking to each of us individually. Before May that, I start with you. 
Jong, you do uh, you do hear Brax say blue leader to you? Yeah. Fern. All right. When you were going through your whatever, um didn't it seem like it was helping you resolve something? Like a inner conflict. We each saw different versions of you. And then when you came back, it was as if they were all you. Is that what you all think happened? I just put myself back together. And now I'm fine. No. Not even close. No, I don't think that blue leader, but what I do think is it helped you come to terms a little bit with pieces of yourself. Not the whole package, not all at once, but just understand that who you are now is it's not all that bad. Well, I wouldn't go that far, Brack, but it did make me realize that I've been running from myself for a very long time. The mirror just... And then Jong looks up over to Damien. Before, it's like I was walking around in the dark. The mirror just turned on the lights. I still have to pick which way to walk. I can turn around and go back. Or I can walk right in front of me. I think that same question the mirror intends to ask all of us. There is no wrong answer. And like I said, if you'd like to stay here, get it back with the drinks mr brack here you are strawberry water with lime hopefully this is enough for you she got your really big glass oh yeah, yeah yeah this is enough thank you so much mrs frog and might i say that your your attire looks very very sharp why thank you very much i appreciate that <laughs> And then Brack just walks off with his glass on his tippy toes, like going back towards the lazy boy. Uh, uh, the only thing I would ask uh, Brack is that you be careful not to spill. Brack looks back. He tiptoes towards the couch instead of the lazy boy <laughs> because he can't make no promises. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm probably going to, you know, no problem. Damien, you, you're really thinking of staying here, huh? It is what I desire. At least what I desired. You know, they said that perfection was lacking in imagination, but maybe that's the wrong way to look at it. Maybe the kind of perfection I sought isn't the same as yours. Maybe sometimes we don't realize that what we want is already with us. I find that complicated questions have different answers for different people. What I mean is but... you found it. You found your treasure. Take it. Why wouldn't you? You're never going to get another chance like this again. Mrs. Frog, I'll have what he's having. And she serves Duke some strawberry water and takes a sip. 
tastes like the real thing to me. This couch feels like the real thing. If the cost of me finding my treasure was to stay here, not half bad. As long as I get the boys back. I don't mind if they go out, but to go out because of my mistake is some bullshit. Well, I do believe I said I would speak with people individually. If you would like to stay here, I'm sure that my parents will offer you hospitality. But just know that Tearseth and Fluxfolk are set to arrive soon. Would you care to be the first volunteer, Jong? Yeah. And Shion, would you like to come along? Hmm? Oh, is that okay? Yeah, of course. Sure, of course. I believe that what I'm going to show you is of great significance. Okay. Hey, in this imaginative world of yours, she says as you're kind of heading, are you heading off somewhere private? Hmm? Oh, yeah, we're going to go out the door. Get her there. Hey, in this imaginative world of yours, can you just imagine my arm back? I could see if that could work. That'd be pretty great. But sorry, you... Just, I don't fully understand the world, but I'd like to try something, if you don't mind coming along. Sure. We'll be back shortly, guys. Just sit tight. Don't be too if long. Your, if you want to have your team talk still, always an option, right? Just to know where you guys stand on it all. Anyways, just enjoy yourselves. And uh, we, we walk out the door. Okay. It's definitely almost night, but there's still enough light. There's some fireflies that are lighting up the area. And you've got a you know a street, like a lamp outside that's illuminating the area. I would ask that you grab onto me. What I'm about to do is a little experimental. Are you taking us somewhere else? I think that it would be an interesting experiment for us. What have we got to lose except my other... Okay. And she reaches out with her left arm and grabs your shoulder. <laughs> Jong reaches out with his right arm. On <laughs> this has shoulder. to look so funny. Just like, <laughs> left you. arm, right arm. <laughs> Thank you for your trust. Please take me to an empty space. <sighs> You guys get sucked back in. And you reappear. Go ahead, Damien. Uh, in a, let's say, a blank void. I would like to try something, if that is all right with you. And I reach out my hand. And I think back. I'm going to send you something. Send it to me. Hit me, Damien. Oh. I close my eyes and I manifest this image in my brain. Suddenly, the void around you starts to take form. First, the floor. Then the walls start to rise. The color starts to take shape. Or the colors start to appear and everything starts to take shape. It's like this golden color with a throne that suddenly appears in the middle of this vast room, cells littered all around you, and a huge dome above you. It is the crown game room. I am sure that I don't have to tell you what this is. <laughs> it's been a long time, huh? Yes. But more importantly, it worked. 
was able to manifest this like I assumed I would be able to. What are you trying to show us, Damien? Well, this idea that I would be able to stay here. I'm afraid it doesn't work unless everyone here stays. We all have to agree to it? I'm afraid there's no other choice. If my purification does not end, there's no way out. Damien. I believe that I know the answer to finishing my purification. You lose something precious to you when you play those games. I believe that if I failed to play five times, or no, whatever many times, that will complete my purification. That is the theory, at least. If you know, then why don't you do it? Because I was thinking about the team and what we talked about before in the waiting room. That, well, is it really living what everyone here is doing? Do we really think we can just press on like this? On this current course? Would it not be easier to enjoy, enjoy life here? If you think about it, there would be no problems. There would be no trauma, no conflict. What we could do is we could manifest a reality, a utopia. We could live like that. Forget about revenge or climbing or the truth. Just, just live. I can't do that. What about my brother, Damien? He's still out there. What about, what about right here? What? The people that you care about here. What? You'll have time to talk things over, to start a life with the people that you love. I, I, I swore to him that I would find a cure. Damien, listen to me. earlier in that waiting room you asked all of us if what we're doing if we consider ourselves to be living things that have happened to some of us are bad and I think if most of us could get rid of it we would but a while ago someone told me that Everything that happens to you is what defines you. It's what makes you who you are. Even your traumas, even the darkest, most painful parts of you. We all have been through our own wars. And we decide to continue climbing because the things we want are out there. Not in this mirror, but in the real world. My... Song Hoon used to tell me that some family runs deeper than blood. I know it must be hard to look at your parents, to look at a life you could have had 
and walk away from it. To say no. But after that play we did, after everything we've seen, maybe I don't understand what you want, but I, I know what it's like to be alone. I know what it's like to look up at the sky and wonder, why not me? What's wrong with me? Damien, I don't think that family in there is your only family. But the things that this team wants, they're outside. Do you really think you could ask everyone here to give up on what makes them them for a safe and easy life? I don't know. But if this was once my desire, why wouldn't I fight for it? So I ask that not to think about me when making this decision, but yourself. What would you, deep down, if you know that what's, going, what's coming will tear you apart, then why not just let go? Because I owe it. I owe that to Leaf. I owe that to Song Hoon. And I owe that to my mother to get out of this mirror, to climb this tower, to try. Because I'd rather live in a world filled with my own failures and nothing more if those failures are real. May I Damien, a perfect, happy world that's conjured up. It is... It Not would real. be our world, Chong. Our world. No. It wouldn't be mine. I don't want a perfect, happy world. Even with all its bloody, ugly faults. I'd rather the real world than one where I'm, even if indirectly, living under somebody else's thumb. My mistakes are mine to make. I'm going to have my own dreams. I can't sit here and just exist in this one. I see. May I ask what it is that drives you so? What is your desire, Chong? What do I desire? My mother, she loved me. Through all of my faults, all of my insecurities. And after everything that the Kuhn family took from her, she loved me. I hope one day to find the person that killed her. To show them what they did was wrong. And would this be the only thing that would give you a measure of peace? One day, Damien, I hope to earn that love. And I can only do that on my own terms. Not here. Not under the mirror. But out there. And that 
is your answer to the question. Well, it is. Thank you for sharing. I must admit that I myself have not come to any sort of conclusive answer. I merely wish to express an idea that I had. Damien, I hope we don't... I hope we're not making it seem like we don't care about your plight. I get it. No. This is your no, this I... is your shot. I mean, I might do the same in your shoes. Yes. Perhaps if it was someone else. But it was me. This is my desire. And the worst part is that I know that out there that desire can't be fulfilled. I'll never have my mother. I won't have a somewhat normal relationship with Mila. It wouldn't be a normal life. Well, I would like to tell you one more thing. If it is all right, Strong. A conversation for you and you alone. Uh, okay. Before that, um, you brought us to the Crown Game Room. Why? Well, this is one of my favorite memories. I figured it would have some sort of significance for you guys, too. We almost got them. <laughs> we should have won the damn thing. You were so oh. annoying back then. <laughs> I think he's even well, more annoying now, let's be real. Hey, now. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Back then, Jong was all, Oh, I don't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> and you, Damien, every time you cracked a joke, Jong would look as if he wanted to rip you limb, limb from limb, but... He didn't. He... He endeared it. Well, that's because we work so well as a team, I imagined. Well, we also weren't allowed to kill regulars, but... Yeah. <laughs> right. That was the reason, for sure. Well, I'm glad that rule was in place, because I certainly did not want to die. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. Um, your crown game team is always here for you. <laughs> Well, it was almost poetic. Now, John, about that thing. All right, y'all. We're gonna have a mute. We're gonna have a mute. Uh, session. And there it is. There it is. Oh, mute session. Boo. <laughs> Time for the deafens. <laughs> well, well, well. So, what did you want to talk about? This is only something that I'm going to discuss with the leader of Team Recall. There is one other way that I believe we can end purification. How's that? Well, it's a bit risky, but I believe that purification can end with my death. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, maybe I've been in this, this world too long, but... I'm serious, John. This was my deepest desire. I'm sure that... You understand if I would fight for it with everything I have. If that is the decision that I come to, well... I thought I'd share that with you. Damien, what are you? I'm just saying that, well, it's... 
What are you asking me? If that's what it takes, if you need to be free no matter what, and I will not cooperate, this, this is your way out. Are you... Are you asking... You're asking me to kill you. If it comes to it, then that's how it is, right? Damien, I... I don't ask this lightly, Zhang. I haven't known you long as a leader, but I know you're capable. Damien, I... Just please, don't... Don't say anything until the time is right. The team, they would... Well, you know how they are. Yeah, I do. Well, there was one more thing that I had to tell you, but, well, the timing seems off. It was something that you told me during your purification. Something that I told you. Yes. Something that you told me that you seemed certain that you didn't even know yourself. But come, let us return. Oh my God. Yes. I just, um, what I said earlier about my master telling me that some family runs deeper than blood. Damien, I don't know if your parents are out there in the real world. And I have to be honest, if they are, I don't know if they're in any position to see you. I think out there, a normal life is far out of your reach. But a happy life with a family? With a found family? I'm not good with saying things. I, um... Over the last seven years, I've made plenty of mistakes trying to lead this team. But it's made me realize that I do care about them. All of them. And my mother died a long time ago. And as messed up as it is, Song Hoon is the closest thing I've ever had to. I think going out there is hard. And it's only going to get harder. But maybe that means it's worth it. That's There's all. much for me to think about. And I do hope that you will even slightly humor the proposal that I made earlier. I, uh... It's okay. I will. Thank you, No Sean. promises. But I will think about it. As long as you agree to tell me whatever it was at the end of this that I told you. That is a promise.
I extend my hand. Are we still like in the crown game room? Yes. Jong looks around the room. She yawns off by herself, looking at the throne, testing it out, surprised that it's real. Feels. It was a long time ago, wasn't it, Damien? It most certainly was. Oh, I messed up. I really thought back then that, Ignore that the last thing I wanted to do was end up on a team with you all. And now, and John grabs your hand. Just happy I met you, Damien Frog. You are a good man, Kun Jong Se. No matter what you think. I try to be. Well, let's get back to it then. Right. Do you? I hope this was a fun. Yeah, we can unmute. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just gonna wait for them all to unmute. Sure. <laughs> I also like tabbed into the wrong thing yeah. on Discord on accident. It, it may have shown a message or two. It's all good. Anyway, so I'll take a ham and cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Did, did yo diversion tactics? <laughs> what do you, order you know what I'm you just want? gonna watch the rest of it. Yeah. Like, like, I mean on, that's man. that's that's totally fine. I'm trying to keep up the suspense. But man, oh man, was it spicy? It and it by spicy, I mean the spicy tuna sandwich <laughs> that I manifested from Yeah, somebody. I don't know why you'd get that as Got a kind of hot. But you know what? I'm not judging. I'm not judging. <laughs> so, well, this was a fun little field trip. Let us be back. All right, let's go. I'm assuming you beckon Shion. And then yes. you find yourselves back at the house. It's as if you were always there all along. Eden and the others, you they weren't gone very long in your, uh, not enough time that you would have had a long conversation. They reappear. My apologies for the long delay. You head inside the house? <sighs> yes. No problem at all. I just hope you don't take that long again. I got things I gotta get done. Yes, well... I do believe it is getting quite late. Damien. Uh, yes? Anything can happen in this world, yeah? I believe so. He, like, leans forward. Those masked people. Can you make them stop? Make them stop what? Make them stop forcing us to partake in their stupid games that result in us vanishing into nothingness at no fault of I, our own. I think events in the carnival are slightly beyond my control. <laughs> I can see if I can. Great. No, 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 no. The great Damien Frog and his imagination has limits. Good to know. It's not his fault, Duke. Why are oh. you being a sucker to me, Duke? I can't fix everything. No, no, no. The leader of Team Recall just spoke to me. What was that? I said it's not his fault. Unless you've forgotten, which I wouldn't be surprised. There's not a whole lot of brain in there. This is the Mirror's world. It's simply working through Damien, not the other way around. This is true. I have a great amount of control in this world, but not enough to overpower the rules, you know? Like, <sighs> great. Preventing death or stopping. No, no, no. Don't mind me. It's just a silly question, really. I mean, not really. I could see, I could try. Go ahead. You want to take others, right? I, well. It is getting a little bit late. Would you all like to take a rest? Team recall? Okay. 
you have something to say, you should just say it. Well? Well, Brock is just snoring. <laughs> out. Well, I'm okay if you want to go next, Will. Sounds fun. Excellent. And why not take Lonnie along? Yeah, why not? Damien, if you think Lonnie's presence will make a difference, you're sorely mistaken. I'm not trying to convince you to do something. I'm just trying to explain things about my feelings. I am well. always good at that. Come along, Lonnie. Okay. I might need you to save his life. Do I play a role in all of this? Temperance, if nothing else. Not exactly, but... Well... It might be worth coming along. I won't force you, but I'm sure that It would be interesting to have you there. I want her there. There, I said it. <laughs> well, if would you join us? If you want me there, and you want me there, sure, I'll go. Okay. Perfect. I mean, the rest of you are allowed to converse amongst yourselves if you'd like. I'm sure that Mom is happy to host you all. Did Flux and Tearseth ever come back? No. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll t I'm sure they'll turn up. All right. Let's go then. Yes. Oh man. They do the same thing. They grab you. <laughs> but really quick, after they leave, the rest of you who remain, Brack snoring away, everybody else. You hear a knock at the door. Oh, I'll grab that. I think that's them. She opens the door. Welcome back. <sighs> Did you end up finding him? Tearseth walks into the room. Oh, I see you have other company. Where's Damien? Is he back? We couldn't find him anywhere. Don't, don't worry, he came back safe and sound. He's off with some of his other friends right now, but he'll be back soon, I'm sure. And then she's just treating them. Flux enters the room. <gasps> Damien didn't tell me you all would be here. Is there a guest bedroom in this house? We do have one guest bedroom. Would you... <laughs> Brock wakes up out of his sleep. <laughs> Immediately after hearing Flux's voice, he hops over the couch and he 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 he's looking with a pillow up, and he got like a cross behind like the pillow as he's holding it up. Okay. And he's like, Mrs. Frog, where, 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 where's your spare guest guest bedroom? Uh, oh, do do would you like to make use of it? I'm sorry for not offering before. It's up the stairs to the right. Thank you. Brock Wave Walk is up there. <laughs> Oh, Damien's friends sure are fun. Uh, Tear and she motions. Uh, Tear, uh, we'll we'll have you over here. And Tear Seth, uh, he takes one look around the room again. Nice to see that young Damien has so many friends. And he smiles. And then he walks after Kine. But Flux Valk plops where Brack used to be. Ah, what a day. Ji Jong, any progress with you and Xion? Well, this is boring. Everyone here doesn't want to talk, apparently. Hey, who are you? You just came out of nowhere, huh? Hey, yo. 
Uh, what was that, though? I assume you're another friend, huh? She's like, Wait until we find out about the worm. <laughs> <laughs> she just looks at Nobody Duke. Nobody tell the Duke of Bones about the worm. <laughs> Guys, don't tell the Duke my girlfriend's a worm. <laughs> <laughs> she just like looks at him long and hard. Hmm. Okay. All right, now cutting to you, Damien. Take me to another empty oh. space. See it here. The void appears around you. This worked last time, so it should feasibly work this time. You start to remember all the details, and the floor starts to take shape. Woo, you feel this like dirt beneath your feet. And these stairs start to appear. Not stairs, but like bleachers start to appear on opposite sides of what appears to be a small, square, rectangle arena. The seats are empty. The whole venue is empty. But as you look up into the sky, the open sky above you, you see sand kind of flittering around the rooftops of this night sky. So this is what you chose. Yes, well, it appears I got the sand a little too good. <laughs> Well, and as as Wu is walking towards Damien, you see him twirl his staff up and forward. Wherever you'd like to die is fun. Die? I just wanted to talk. Whoa, whoa, what? Stand back, Lon. What? Talk what? about what exactly, Damien? I merely wanted to speak with you. About your experiences, your desire, and, well, explaining my point of view. It's funny, because I already have a feeling that I know what you're going to say. Well. And I don't want to hear it. So, please tell me how you can position all of this as something that I could possibly get behind. Allow me to start by saying this area I chose because it was where one of our greatest plans was ever executed. It took place and everyone played their part to perfection. It was truly a happy memory. The aftermath was unfortunate, but... In that moment... It felt, it felt like we were all getting close and good, becoming great friends. That's what I thought until shit came crumbling down, not but a moment later. It's our whole history. Crumble down it did. I'm not even sure where to begin, but well. We both agree that things since then have never been as good as it once was. Seems like ever since I took my first breath, things haven't been as good. That's neither here nor there. You're failing to get to the point where you tell me why this makes sense. Well, if you've got everything that you've desired... Would you not fight for it? I heard you say something interesting before, but your subconscious rejected it. Perfection. What does that concept mean to you? What does perfection mean? The very pinnacle of, of mind and body? Working in tandem? Or perhaps do you mean in a more artistic form? Where well, one well, is pleasing to the eyes. Perfection. However, however you feel about it. See, what's interesting to me is that 
This space is giving you the means to create exactly what it is that you want. Whether it's real or not, that's not my place to say. But perfection is inherently weak. It implies that it's unchanging, infallible, a fixed state. As individuals, we're anything but. That complacency would lead us to nothing but pain and ruin. I know this from experience. You want me to play house here with you? And your family? I, I don't have, have time for this. this. I have never tried to be perfect. If this is a misconception you have about me, then... Well... Oh no, it's not about you. you. You're the most rational... Selfless person I know. You were somebody that I aspired to be like. To see your complacency here is disturbing. It's everything that I wanted, Rue. How could I not hesitate? You're willing Truly to- Surely you understand that. I mean, if you were given everything that you ever wanted, then how could, how would you just block it out on the flip of a switch? It's not realistic. A moment's notice. Of course I would hesitate in this moment. Because I know that what this is, is impossible in the tower. My mother is dead in the real world, Will. There is no kind frog in my life. What we see now is what I manifested what my mother would be like. I know that this tower has not treated you well, and I apologize for, well, our treatment of you on the rest floor. It was not my intention to dog pile on you so hard. Will you accept my apology? It's like you forgot what I said to you. I promised I'd always be in your corner, and I still meant that the person that made that promise was shallow, but the promise was true just the same. Then, I'm glad we're speaking because now, more than ever, I need guidance. If I could be frank with you, when you took Leaf on as your apprentice, it made me, it made me feel inadequate. I was jealous. You know, I always wanted a teacher. My father, well, he couldn't always be around. He was working. You know, Everything I learned from him, I didn't learn a single lethal technique, anything to fight with, just jumps and other frog stuff. Came in handy a few times, but as we climb the tower, those abilities, they'll be less oh, and less useful. Diminish the things that your father gave you. I wish I had a teacher. You did. I mean like you. Not something to aspire to, Damien. Why can't you see what you had right in front of you this whole time? 
I see what I have. Yes, it was stripped of. away from you, and maybe unfairly so, but you still had it. What I want, Wu, is to share that with you. To share not, in, not in this fairy tale world. Isn't it, though? Isn't it perfect? It's a fairy tale. I don't want perfection. It's not going to be any better out there. This is the good end. They may listen to me. You can see past this. I can't allow you to do this. You see, there is a part of me that knows what you say is true, but... My deepest desire has ever been family. Your mother. I never met mine. All I know about her is her name at this point, but I swear one day I'll find out more. That vision that you have of her. She seems like she thinks the world of you. You could do no wrong. I like to imagine her perfect that little will. boy. That vision or not, the mother you remember. Do you think she'd want to hide that person from the world? Have him stagnate and be all alone in a dollhouse of his choosing? Or go and change the world and carry her heart on his sleeve? I think that my mother would want me to be happy. What does happiness mean to you, Damien? Comfortability? Security? I don't know that answer, Wu. In fact, Wu drops his stuff and reaches his hand out to Damien. Neither do I, but I thought we were all going to find that out together. Not here. In a fucking dreamland. But in a world where we can make a difference. At least while we're still around. In this dreamland, we can unmake our mistakes. We can, this way, if we stay here, we already ruin Iseer's plan. This way, no, no one else suffers. Lee just... still suffers. Why not start anew? You have another person here who thinks the world of you, I'm sure. <laughs> Possibly needs guidance. And she has lost everything. Lonnie looks around. Me? That was <laughs> just not laugh because I just pictured Lonnie like pointing at herself cartoonishly, <laughs> like, are you talking about me? I mean, you're not take, serious. Uh, take everything that you failed with Leaf and give it to her. Oh, well, this is... I tried. This, this could unmake your mistake. Wu kicks up his staff. Well, Lonnie, you might have to stand back after all. Hold on. That's why you brought me I tried. Here? I'm here to if be some kind of replacement. Listen. Damien, is that all I am to you? No. Just a replacement? Is that it. why you've kept me around this whole time? So I could replace someone you've you lost? I've no. never thought of you that like no, that I, in my life. I, Don't listen to I want to hear what Damien has to say. You have lost everything. You have nowhere to go. You have nothing. I offer you this world you're not a you god think, you don't know me I don't this is true but can you what? can you, you could. can you take me back to before I abandoned Lonnie her? no Take you back to before where? I don't want to be somebody else. I just want to fix what I did wrong. 
Can you take me back to before I abandoned my teammate? That I cannot do. Why? I can't change the past. You can't change anything at all. All you can do is mold a perfect little structure for you to exist in and hide from the truth. I will no longer allow it. What do you, you don't have my consent. All of this is moot. Hmm. I'll kill you if I have to. That mom you created? That's changing the past, isn't it? She's not alive, is she? He is made from what I truly desire. You're such a hypocrite. I'm sorry. But Ronnie, listen to me. Just... You're still here for a reason. <laughs> no, I'm just here to replace somebody else. I get it. You've never been a replacement. You chose to come here. It was all your decision. Oh, really? I had a ticket thrust at me was told and you decided to take it you wanted to take it i saw the look in your eyes when we were leaving on the train and i was prepared to leave you there's something that only you can do for yourself and for the memory of your teammate and you will accomplish it don't let complacency set in and don't listen to this bullshit a look in the eyes is a complicated thing it could mean many different things I'm tired of you. What else do you have to say to convince me? Because I've already given you my answer. I see. What is it that you desire, Will? I told you since the day I met you, I wanted to be free. And what does that mean for you? I've realized that it's impossible. So instead of doing that, I'll do everything else that I can within the cages I'm placed in. And you're trying to box me into another one. And I want out now. The cage that I offer you is free of the others. Do you think your father will be able to find you here? Well, to be fair, I haven't this heard from him since we got to this floor, no. But... It's not better to live in comfort and let that sick bastard get away with all he's done absolutely not what am i gonna do here the freedom that i wanted was an ideal beyond them you'd have your friends will they would all and be here you There'd would be have no us to leave outside of here have you ever considered the worth of that or do you just want to lie to yourself continuously? What about the real flux? What about your actual dad? What about the answers that you wanted? That's just all okay because you can sit here and lie to yourself and live in comfort and security. And you want us to all just co-sign it after all we've struggled for? It's a joke. Let me ask you again. Why do you live? And I told you, I am no longer alive. And there's one person that I am then, still then, moving for. Then I offer you life. Can Ru can Wu roll an attack? Yeah. I'm done talking. Fifteen to hit. Does that hit Damien? That does. Go ahead, Wu, describe it. Wu's gonna punch him in the face and grab him by the collar. And then he's gonna thrust little pigsy in his face. You see this? 
Don't laugh, bro. This is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like that. That just. I, I didn't expect it. I don't know. It's the last day. I don't know. This man just put a T pig in his face and said, "Don't laugh." You see this? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Him. Isn't he fucking cute? <laughs> You see this? He has nothing in this world. He was left with nothing just like you and me. I stumbled upon him at my lowest point, and for whatever reason, he cared about me. He wants the best for me, genuinely. I've never experienced that. And he's nothing. But I looked at him and I realized that he has more potential than any of us. And there will always be somebody else or something else out there that is worth moving forward for. Everything we've been through isn't a waste. It's not useless. And we can be better. I still believe it. Even now. That's what she would want. You know that's what everyone you've cared for would want to. Stop running. I will take what you said in mind. That is an interesting perspective. Now then, let us hurry back. I'll have to cover this punch to my face well it's your world a little bit of cover up will be alright Lonnie is just silent she's just quiet the whole time Boo turns to her I meant what I said for whatever it's worth For whatever it's worth, indeed. Now, let us be off. But, meanwhile, back in the living room of the Frog family... Go ahead, John. Hey, uh, Chio. Hmm? Oh, you want to talk? I hmm? this climb that we've been on it's uh, been pretty rough yeah and I don't think I could have made half the decisions I have without you uh oh um you appointed me as your vice leader, right? So, just happy I can. Thanks. I'm happy to hear that. Actually, when I think about it, I don't think there's anyone else in this tower whose opinion matters more to me than yours. Thanks. Shion, if... When I decided to become the leader of this team, I made a promise that I would do everything in my power to keep this team safe, to give them what they want. If I had to do something... Something really, really bad. Do you think that... I think one day you could forgive me? No. I don't know what you're thinking about, John, but no. Because you're already acknowledging that it's going to hurt. You're not telling me what it is. 
Come I on, I'm telling you, you, I just... I thought you said you trusted me more than anyone. It's... It's not about trust, it's about... It's about... The mission. What mission? I'm s I'm sorry, Luca. Jong? <clears throat> Jong? Hey! And he says that he grabs his head. Now this is still in the living room, so... <laughs> Jong! <clears throat> hey! Hey, what's up no. with him? Uh, no. Oh man, you okay? Uh, no. It's part of the mission. What? Hey, 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 Eden? Uh, Eden? Uh, Has he been doing this over the last seven years? No. No, he hasn't. What's going on, Zhang? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I'm. Uh, maybe it's just this mirror world or something. Talk us through it. I feel like I've. Done this before. Done what before? Nothing. Never mind. I'm sorry. How are you just gonna move past this? Who? You keep mentioning Luca. Do you have something you need to say? Ji Jong, is something the matter? No, I'm fine. Figure it out. I. I don't know how to describe it. I just. Felt like a memory. And as you say that, some people walk back into the door. You see Damien with Wu and Lonnie. Mm. Painful, but Damien! Fluxfalk leaps into your arms. Oh. I was so worried oh. about you. Where'd you go? You just vanished right before my eyes. Yes, well, I'm so sorry about that. Damien, and you were kidding about her being here. Well, hello, Wu. And that means that your your dad is here too? Of course. I'm always with God. Uh, Damien, is everything okay? Hmm. Yes. Everything is fine. I would just like to speak with Eden and Brack. Where is Brack anyways? Hold on, frog. <laughs> you just hear the snoring from up the stairs. <laughs> you just hear it kind of vibrating. Hey, frog. Mm -hmm. Come here. All right. Now your girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wouldn't have thought it possible with you. Damn, not bad. Uh, I. What is that supposed <laughs> to mean? Come on, he already said he don't like muscular chicks, man. Like, leave him alone. No offense, of course. I just didn't think you had it in you. Yes, well, we are all full of surprises. But you do well, see then. Eden in the room. Eden. 
I would like to take you and Brack somewhere. Oh, you get to go wake him up. Uh, I mean, yeah, right. I know how he gets when he has to wake up, but... I've been punched in the face a few times, but I've also punched him in the face a few times. Hey, Flux, could you wake up Brack for me? <laughs> <laughs> Anything oh, for you, you Damien. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damien, anything for you. I'll be right back. And Thank she you. just like melts into shadow. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> really? Use the stairs, Flux. Use the stairs. <laughs> Brack didn't use the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't melt into shadows, though. <laughs> so, Brack, you, uh,. You're sleeping, right? Are you having a dream? Like, what's going on with you? Uh, Brack is in a deep sleep. Same dream that he's been having for the past seven years. Mm. Uh, him at the at the uh, amusement park. Uh, pretty much having a blast with Kane and uh, Kay. Hmm. Uh, and Kilt. And, uh, yeah. Bad things start to happen. Where the dream turns into a nightmare. And the same thing that happened when Jung tried to come wake him up, it starts to happen like to that room, to that area. Can you describe it where again? Where the Shinsu becomes more dense. Okay, okay. You start to hear a voice echoing, Brack, Brack. But like, it's like so loud. You know when you have like those fever, just like, it's like so loud, it like vibrates through your skull. Brack, Brack, it's, Brack. It's the devil himself coming to wake me up. I got a devil. And then he opens his eyes. Hello, Brack. You see her red oh, eyes glow. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to wake you. Brack blitzes out the room. <laughs> Brack. Bro, that, I got like PTSD, like five year old me running down the no. hall with my parents, like, Mom, Dad. Like. <laughs> she put on her most demon voice for that. That was unnecessary, bro. You could have just said, Hello, Brack Bronson. That was not <laughs> terrible. Bro. You guys just see That's Brack like okay. scurrying down the stairs, like tripping over his feet, you know? <laughs> Brack takes a tumble down the stairs. Okay. He lands. He, he gets up. He looks. He knows who did it, too. He just looks right at <laughs> Damien. It's good to see you, buddy. Judas. <laughs> I it, like to think of myself more as friend, but... Is everything all right in here? Kind steps in with Dominic. Sorry, it's I know just, those stairs can be a bit of a pain sometimes. I gotta fix them. It's, just, it's another day with Brack. Don't worry. Brack. Tear Seth walks into the room. I'm sorry if my daughter spooked you. Pussy. Oh, 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 wait. Actually, legit. That's, uh, Flux Folk's father. This is dad? father. <laughs> it was one of the first things I said when we first met, Brack. You don't remember? I mean, telling you about how wonderful father, father is. Or anybody dad. Like, you could call Damien dad. I mean, it's. Hey, yo! This. <laughs> This is my true father. This is my father. I guess you could call me father. You don't have to, though. I, like, widen my eyes and I look at my dad. <laughs> he just kind of, like, he looks like he's taking it all in. He kind of just shrugs. <laughs> uh, Tear Seth, I wanted to show you uh, the thing I was working on in the back. Would you mind? Of course. I love construction projects. Have fun, everyone. And he winks and leaves. That wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> Are we construction projects to him? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The fact, that, the fact that he's... You cannot... As a dad, you can't be winking like that, bro. That's yeah. Nah, 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 nah. nah this, your, your daughter's this, here. Your daughter's boyfriend. All her friends. You can't be throwing the wink around like that? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Like, I, I like broken nice people. Nice They're nice my nice construction nice. project. Okay, let's not jump to conclusions here. All right, Damien, you gotta go, bro. We can't stay here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure he's just showing Tear Seth his propane grill. 
<laughs> and it's propane accessories. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Best anime. Well, Eden Brack, shall we? Yeah, get me out of here. Yes. Eden will just follow along. Please grab hold of me for one moment. Take me to another empty space. And as you leave, Duke, hey, woo. What is it, Duke? This world is created by him, right, Damien? Partially, yeah. So he created himself a girlfriend, too, is that it? No, that's his actual girlfriend. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> uh, yeah. Why he says, why is that so shocking? Get out of my house, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he just like throws the front door. Get out. Leave. <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Damien and the others, they, you appear in the void. All right. This doesn't shock anyone. And I reach out my hand and I think of this place in my mind. The floor starts to take shape. Brack, you recognize it the second you see it. It's like a cold, hard ground that then rises around you, completely closed off from the outside world, the darkness descending as you would descend further into the labyrinth. <clears throat> um. Frog? Yes. Why did you bring us here to talk? Well, it felt like a place of great significance for all of us. Uh huh. I'm sorry if it brings back bad memories. It's just, well. I felt my strongest connection with the both of you on this floor. On this floor, well, I was at my most vulnerable. I felt completely lost. My world was crumbling apart. And, well, I like to think that the two of you were a great deal in helped me a great deal in working through my problems. I was inspired by Brack when he entered the labyrinth. But also, when I got to talk with you, Eden, on the fence, I wanted to talk about, well, the truth. The truth is a difficult thing, as we are well clearly aware of. I know, Brack, that it is difficult. The truth. How difficult it must be to process what happened, especially knowing that, well, I mean, you know that that leaf is gone. Yeah. We'll get her back, though. I don't know how she's gone. Fully. But I know that... She's out of reach. Are you of the same mind, Eden? Do you know that we can get her back? All we can do at this point is try our best. There's a high likelihood that we fail. There's a high likelihood that she was dead the minute she hit the atmosphere of the demonic realm. We could be fighting or chasing a fool's errand at this point. 
but the answers will give us peace, acceptance, solitude. No matter what we hit, if we find her, she's okay. And I think that will help a lot of people of Team Recall. And if we don't... Would we be able to live if we don't? You, of all people, are aware of the state of this, of this team. How easy that people will crumble. Yeah. Reality is often difficult. Even my father, he's... Well... My father in reality is not the father that we see. Visually, he looks much different. Let me... Let me try something. All right. I close my eyes again, Joe. With the memories of how I remembered my father. Don't show Eden hot purple haired guys. That's a bad thing. <laughs> Don't go thirsting after my Whoa. dad. Hold on. <laughs> you haven't even Man, seen that. Is 800 plus hey. years old. So I mean. Look, John was thirsting after Kine, you know. <laughs> Shoot. This needs to stop, bro. Fathers are off limits. <laughs> <clears throat> the person doesn't appear before you as if out of thin air. It's as if they're moving stealthily across the wall of the labyrinth, as if they have a goal in mind. This is more difficult than I thought. Someone who's in the shadows, staying hidden and out of sight. Well, he's on the wall. He's in the shadows. You feel like, Damien, if you used your lighthouses, perhaps then let me give us some more light you flash your lighthouses Eden Brack you see someone hiding in the shadows This is the reality. This is what my father is in the tower. That's where we're going to end today's episode. Yay! I knew, I knew you wanted to end right there. That's the only reason why I didn't say anything. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Yeah, same. <laughs> You all were like, Blame where's it going to be, the, Joe? The punished Dominic, dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> mine go punished from uh, HRG to, to God Daggone Ando. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thank you guys so much for being here. I know it's late, but you're... Also, oh, quick. Yeah. Joe, you think you slick just incorporating these new soundtracks into the thing real uh, uh, will the end? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> you got some new soundtracks tonight, dude. I did. Uh, I gotta say, actually, that a certain someone sent them to me. Uh, sent me a couple oh. tracks, and I was like, "These sound really, really good." So there you go. Mm -hmm. I was like, "I caught them. I caught them." They were, I, they were, you, you have a sharp ear. Backfire. <laughs> backfire. Yeah, but uh, this is super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to the cast for staying up late and, and, and being a part of this episode. Um, we'll be back next Friday for another episode at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And join the Discord for memes and fan art or to continue the conversation. Uh, that's kind of about it. Um, the links are down below if you want to support everybody here. Milios, are you are you streaming um, anything lately or? Final Fantasy 16 on YouTube. Let's go. Let's go. Go support Milios. Go, support go watch him play FF16, bro. I got something. Uh, yeah? Uh, I'm going to need you to switch my the Twitch thing back to YouTube on the description. For sure. Because I'm going to start streaming on YouTube again this week. Let's Mama. go. Oh, Switching out. 
W decision. Let's go. All right, everybody. Go support Sunwoo. Go support Milios. The links, their links will be below uh, to their YouTube streams. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, with that being said, we'll see you guys next Friday. Thanks for being here. Ta-ta for now. Good Goodbye. Night. Farewell. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah.